Good evening, everybody. Good evening. And, uh, yeah, welcome to Lands, Lands, Lands of, 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 a Cathan, a Cathan, a Cathan, a Cathan. I just found the best meme. Where, uh, Are we doing that now? <laughs> a bunch of people who some might say have played D&D &D a little bit too much get together to play D&D &D a little bit more because to hell with them. Yeah. Some of us might have ADHD, but <clears throat> I don't know about that. Right. Hey. And uh, and 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 Nikki just told us one of the funniest, most inappropriate punny jokes I've heard in a long, long time. <laughs> Along with that other one. Very bad. Yeah. If you're curious what it is, shoot her a note okay. on Twitter, and no, she'll send it to I'll... you. No, I won't. <laughs> I won't. No. I found it on TikTok, but. Because everybody knows I'm addicted to TikTok, but it's one of those ones that you probably shouldn't tell people. Ah, uh, she'll send it to you anyway. You well. She'll TikTok it right out there. Right. Oh, so funny. Yep. So I just turned funny. off the news and put on. <laughs> I just turned off the news and put a Ted Bundy documentary on to relax. Wow. I I, I have seen that a couple times now, and oh. that is pretty much how I oh. feel. I yeah. tell you what. That yeah. is my spirit animal. I can't wait to kill shit. I keep watching that movie about the soccer team that crashed in the Andes just for laughs, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just to kick it on my couch. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> We are a little uh, oh. slap happy tonight. Oh. Just the stress that from the funny. last week. Oh my god. Oh, how's it going for you guys? Yeah. Hope you're doing well. Um, kicking it on the couch. Sorry. <laughs> was it before or after we played last? <clears throat> it was after, because it was Wednesday. Yeah. It was literally the day so, after. You know. Yeah. Okay, so Wednesdays no longer happen. Everything bad happens on Wednesdays. Okay. Well, except for okay. the inauguration next week. Is That's day, true. So. But yeah, don't say that. The FBI is oh. basically telling everybody, yeah, there's going to be violence at the state at the state capitals all over the country and in D.C. So watch out for that. Right. So great. Thanks. Because it's Wednesday. Because it's Wednesday. Now I just want to no sing that Wednesday. song. I just want to sing that song. That's all I want to sing right now. Which one? Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I thought she was going to say, hope day! Yeah! <laughs> no. Not if she doesn't like Wednesdays. No, I would Mike, Mike, Mike. That. Leslie, what day is it? Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> that was one of the most favorite things for me when we were on Wednesday nights. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. Because I would, I would play that right up to the point where, where the camel says, Leslie, what day is it? And then our friend Leslie would go, it's hump day. And then I would play hump day. Yeah. And yeah. every Wednesday, every freaking Wednesday, we did that. It it so she's, real, she's real glad we're not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it helped Let me just that say. her name was Leslie. Yes, it did. That was why we started doing you it. You start like, asking her what day was yesterday. And then when she says Wednesday. <laughs> hump day. Hump day. Yeah. yeah. That's it. I'm putting it back on a button. What what day is what day was yesterday? I like that. Yeah. She's gonna fall for that too. She I'm is sorry, at Lex. least once. I'm and then sorry, depending Lex. on I'm how, how good a sport she is, maybe two or three times. <laughs> but, but yeah, so um Woo. few announcements to get through uh for this evening. First off, um Mike continues to uh convalesce. In the hospital, so we're still sending him, you know, positive vibes and as the the raunchiest jokes we can find. Um, yes, I'm <clears throat> even taping them. I'm not even just sending them over the thing. I'm actually video recording myself saying them, which I love you. Rarely happens. That is, love, that is awesome. Yeah, yeah. And if, if if anything's gonna if anything's gonna rouse him, it's gonna be that because he's gonna start to laugh. Did you say <laughs> rouse him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just rouse, not rouse. rouse. I said rouse. rouse him, like Ronda Rousey without the E. Rouse. Rouse. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not A R R. <laughs> There's only one R in a rouse. There's only one, one. R in a rouse. It's a singular <clears throat> rouse. Not... It is, it is so A 
Rouse. The killer Rouse. Instead of the okay. general V. I can remember. Rouse. So it's not a word I write often. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, right. I want to remind you, we, we, we do have a new charity for the new year. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, the, new year, new charity. Yes. The Code Green Campaign is a first responder-oriented mental health advocacy and education organization. Uh, they serve all types of first responders, including firefighters, EMTs, paramedics, dispatchers, police, corrections, air, medical, and search and rescue. Um, interesting thing, their name's a combination of the color for mental health awareness, which is green, and the code alerts used in emergency services. So, you know, if somebody's having a stroke or a heart attack, first responders will call out a code stroke or a code uh, STEMI. So code green is calling a code alert on mental health for first responders. Um, and their mission is to bring awareness to the high rates of mental health issues in first responders and reduce them and eliminate the stigma that prevents people from admitting these issues and asking for help. And uh, after, good Lord, what would it be? This is the 11th month of the pandemic. All of our first responders are uh -huh. suffering. Well, March, mm -hmm. it, March is three. March is three? Like January, February, March. So it started in March. So. That would be 10 months. March. Then, uh, <clears throat> but I think well. Cases were, and it's been a year. Yeah. But we all I mean, went home in March. Yes. And that's what I'm thinking. And so it, so it, it would be um, 10 months in 2020. And this is January 2021. So this is the 11th month. Thank you very much. I'll be here all week. <clears throat> okay. So there are 12 months in a year. If you subtract January and February, how many months is that? 10. 10, yes. And then you add the first month of the new year to that. And what's that 11. give you? 11. So there are 11 months. Be sure to tip your wait staff. The 9 o'clock show is completely different from the 7 o'clock show. Try the veal. Yes. You push the mulled wine. We're stuck with it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, Annette, so, did you buy a new purse this week? <laughs> so, uh, no. um, oh, it's something I understand because I've lost. Okay, it's just it's just basic math. Um, there is a link on our website, <laughs> artifactsworldswide.com, uh, that'll take you directly to the donations page for the Code Green campaign. So, if you can help, please do. These are the people who spring into action the second there's an emergency. We kind of need them to be healthy. So anything you can do. Um, the other announcement, we, are st we still have our poll up on the website, artifactsworldswide.com, to figure out what game we're going to play on board remotely whenever we get back to you know doing that on a regular schedule. Um, at the moment, oh, on board remotely, Nikki and I are playing... Neverwinter. <laughs> and on GM chat, I'm playing Defiance. And when I'm by myself, I'm getting my ass handed to me at Hearthstone. Yep. Whew. <clears throat> but Hearthstone is not in the running. Needs me to come back. So she no, no, Hearthstone is a single player game. Single right. player game. Um, but so uh, I'm hoping that maybe Nikki will join me this week for Defiance. We'll see. Um, we will see. I could be busy. <laughs> uh, hope springs eternal. Oh, but, right. you know, like Probably I said. Probably not. Let's we, be honest. <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's be honest. Nikki has, uh, just, Nikki has her eye on someone. Let's just put it she that way. Down. She does not. She does not. <laughs> she kind of does. Look at the whoa, face. Whoa, Look at whoa. the face. Not on the air. Look not at the face. The you can do it privately. Well, I'm, I'm not saying any more than that. But, you know. So she may be busy on Wednesday. Who knows? Yikes. Or she may be playing Defiance with me because I could be. <laughs> I'm not going to be busy on Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Cam has. Could be. But I'm going to get the chair side eye just like yeah. <laughs> we're we're still uh, looking for your input on what it is that we should adopt as our main game for Board Remotely. Um, so the poll is up on the website. Please head over there and uh, cast your vote. Help us figure it out. 
If you're good at Hearthstone, you probably should watch on the Sundays that I'm by myself and help me not get my boot kicked. Mm. Just saying. It'd be great. Well, if you're good at Defiance, you should watch on Wednesdays and help me not... Let's see. Last week, I managed to die four times in an hour. Oh, hey, so, okay. you're doing good. And that's with my 20th level character. If I play with Nick, we're starting over at level one. So, Do you like the game? I love the game. I am having so much fun with that game because I have discovered that I am a sniper at heart and this game lets me do that. And as long as I can snipe and then run away and find another high place and continue to snipe and run away and find another high place, I don't die. It's when they swarm me that I'm like, oh, crap, I am not good at close quarter. Ah! So if I can't run away, I die. So... Yep, that's pretty much that's pretty much be playing defiance. It's like ooh headshot, poof, ooh headshot, poof. oh shit, here they come. <laughs> you hear that a lot. So, but yeah, so uh, that's all the announcements I have. Anybody else have any announcements this evening? No. Nope. All Other right. Then help me with Hearthstone. Right. Then let me go ahead and officially welcome you back to the lands of a Cathan. Welcome back. So last time, uh, last time was pretty major. Um, last time, Arabelle, Tasha, and Zorith, along with uh, their tag along Afgar, continued to explore the strange underground complex beneath the the Everwood, where all magic warps, no matter what. Um, they found a very, 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 very long hallway strewn with traps. Oh, yeah, traps. Forgot yeah. about those. And then wandered into uh, another large chamber, sort of an intersection of hallways with a pool and another statue. This one of a large armored figure who asked them to speak a specific name, which they which had we didn't no know. idea, and since Nada. they couldn't speak the password, it attacked them. Rude. Yeah. So... I had forgotten that also. It was pretty dangerous. Uh, the fight was not easy, but they managed to overcome it, and then continued exploring... They found their way down into a massive chamber which was bordered on the right and left hand ends by very different altars. One glistening and clean, the other dark and skull laden. And shafts, wide and tall shafts of energy w were streaming out from both altars. And where they met in the middle they sort of diffused into this dark, sparkly mist, which then was rising up to the ceiling and apparently through the ceiling. Um, there were three fires beyond. One green, one blue, one red. That's right. Um, I remember those. Still no clue about what those are or do. Um, they discovered that Standing in the light from the clean altar filled them with very warm and positive memories from their past. 
filled them with glee. Athgar discovered that standing in the beam from the dark altar does the opposite. Um, the light is from Santa. And Santa? wandering through the center didn't seem to have any effect on anyone. They then wandered uh, down the hallway. Hmm? I can't remember. Did her spell go off? Yeah. And the spells and, work fine in the light. Right, but what about the fuzzy space? No one cast a spell from the fuzzy space. You should try that. Um, Athgar, however, did cast a spell from uh, outside the darkened space, and that seemed to go off okay. If there was a... Okay. A wild magic effect. It was one that didn't manifest itself visibly. Got it. Okay. The group then ventured further and found a massive bedchamber with uh, the remnants of a large bed and other accoutrements usually found in large bedchambers. Oh, really? It has reconnected. Yay! Okay. The exceedingly large chamber was filled with the remnants of a very large bed, and most of the accoutrements you find in uh, a bedroom of somebody very, very important, including a large steel cabinet that uh, Tasha was managed uh, Tasha was able to open and they discovered several interesting things in the cabinet they found uh, a cloak that had not gone to the ravages of time uh, a large staff uh, a set of chainmail <laughs> uh, tinted light red and a pair of boots were the boots unharmed too? Yep. Mm. Low ankle leather boots. Oh, mm. they're fancy. Mm hmm. And this is where I... we uh, we pick up. Everybody decided to go back, hit, go into the light, uh, and rest and take a short rest. I would like to. Oh, poops. Right? Poops? I would like to go back into that room and take a better look around. Is this the room that we saw on the mirror? Uh. Ooh, wait. Tasha. Did, did we. Are we done resting? We rested. We, we okay. did a short rest. That was one of the last things short we rest. did, I believe. Okay. Okay. So. Um, um, yes, me. So if we go back into that chamber. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, hold on, let me get down to oh, that so everyone can see. <clears throat> I forgot to do the thing. Yep. So back down in that chamber. Where I'm huge. Sorry. Uh, oh, actually, I can move my other one. I lied. Oh. I can move my other one. Okay, good. Good, good. <laughs> um, I need Tasha to roll perception with advantage. Okay. Because you have keen mind. I do. You remember things very well. I do. I wish that was true in real life. <laughs> Um, perception, you said? Yep. And with advantage, so. Right. 23. 23. You hadn't thought of it, but when Zorth asks the question, you go, you know what, it does look like what we saw through the mirror. Because you remember seeing a room, a large room, clean, no dust, with a steel cabinet against the, the back. 
This is it. Same room. And Interesting. Zorath, go ahead and, and make a perception check. Mm. 18. 18. You look around and you realize that what you thought was just a, a curtain hanging on the wall, you look and you see there's a little gap in the curtain, and through that gap you can see a reflective surface. I go over there and I take the curtain away. And there is a mirror identical to the one you found earlier. I do not remember how we found... Was it... Did we blow on it? Did we touch it? There I can't was remember. A, there, was, there was like a little catch around the frame. Okay, I'm going to check this one. I'm going to okay. check this one. Make investigation with advantage. Ooh, peaches. Ooh, peach. Oh, a ten and a kraken. Huh? Which which one in investigation? Yes. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. You find it almost immediately. Woo-hoo-hoo. And, and you your finger runs over it and you feel it go click. And suddenly the image in the mirror shifts, and you're looking at that room you were in yesterday. So it's two-way, not sneaky, sneaky, I want to look at you. It would appear that it operates in both directions, yes. Nice. Much better than creepy, sneaky. But it was behind a curtain? Yeah. But there was a little little gap in the curtain. Oh, okay. I was like, how did we see the room? Okay, got it. Hmm. 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 And as we look in that other room, it was just, it was plain to, I can't see anything or anyone in that other room. No. That's nice. (laughs) It's good to know that rooms we cleared are actually cleared. All right. Yep. All right. What's our next action here, kids? There are... Let's see. You have your choice of uh, four things. The hallway that led you to this room that you're in continues on past this room. Yeah. Um, the last uh, uh, two T intersections ago, there was uh, one that you didn't take. And out of the room with the armored statue, there were two areas that you had yet to explore, one of which actually had light shining from it. Right. I remember that now. So what would you like to do? Well, okay, so you said that um, like this way there's a there's more? Is that what you're saying? There is more this way. Right. Yeah. Let's do that. I mean, it's right here. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Arabelle, you have the lead. Does this hallway look like tippity-tappity, like we need to do that with this hallway? Yeah, we should probably do that everywhere, honestly. So tap, tap, tap with the sword. All right. Uh, make an investigation check. Dippity tappity. Investigation is... Okay, 18. All right. You do not believe there are any traps here. Okay. All right. This... area opens up and you can see that it turns to the left and uh, Arabelle and Tasha as you're the two in the front, please roll perception oh sorry 25 11 you're going to die in jail 
<laughs> I got new and... dice out because my other ones weren't behaving and well, yeah. That's it. And That's we're done with you. Right. Two and a five, you're out. Um, Arabelle, you're kind of distracted looking for traps as well. Tasha, on the other hand, you notice that coming from further down the hallway, it's getting noticeably warmer. Hmm. Oh, hold on, we get disconnected again. <sighs> this is going to annoy the living hell out of me. Oh, 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 oh. All right, supposedly we're now reconnected. Sorry, folks. Not really sure what's going on with this. Just started in the new year, and it's annoying. Uh, as I said, Tasha noticed that the air coming from around the corner is uh, noticeably warmer. I say... Does it seem warmer to you guys? Uh, sure. Zorth, go ahead and roll. Uh, advantage or disadvantage? Because I'm looking for it. Just straight roll. Okay. Investigation or perception? Uh, perception. 18. Like. Yeah. And Athgar says, Hmm. Now that you mention it, that's... It does seem to be getting a bit warmer. Hmm. I'm going to defer to my passive perception of 21 and think I noticed it the second time. <laughs> okay. Yes. Now that you now that your attention has been called to it, oh yeah, it is getting warmer. Now that you've looked up from the ground. Hmm. I've been paying attention. It's always warm in this armor, so it probably. <laughs> uh, sure. <clears throat> give much thought to it. Right. Alright. So we're going... Well, it can't be much around the corner, right? Forward a little. I'm gonna come down around where the bedchamber was. Well, unless it goes like two blocks and turns down. Oh! Oh! You round the corner and immediately see the source of the heat because it blazes up in front of you. The ground vanishes. And in its place is what looks to be a pit, but it's right out in the open and it's actually covered in a, in a, a charred steel mesh. Is it magma? No. It is not it 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 is not red hot magma. It's not liquid magma. It's not liquid <laughs> magma. <laughs> it's the heating well we met had the cooling system in the kitchen, so now we've met the heating system. Yeah, well but the thing is is that you didn't actually feel the heat until you were relatively close to it. I wonder if there's a flue or something that opens to make it Um warm. everybody roll perception. Pipes, I was just going to say, are there pipes? Wow, I am busy looking at the red hot fire. I got a five. A red hot 24. fire. 27. <sighs> well, hold for a moment. I'm finally pulling up Athgar's stats here. Oh, I can pull up his stats if you need them. Oh, I've got them. Uh, ha, huh, 29. Me. Well, Athgar rolled a 20. Okay. <clears throat> and he goes, Oh, there's a chain. A chain? I wonder what happens if we pull the chain. Um, Stand back. <laughs> yeah, does anybody have a uh, hand? Do I have hand? I do not. You mean like mage hand? Yeah. yeah. That's hmm. It's only a few, but I do. I do. I we can, all step back I a little. Try it. How long does Mage Hand last? Uh, I think like ten. Or One minute. 
Oh, no. I'm totally wrong. I'm One like, minute. I was like, go oh, run up into the thing and cast it and then bring it back. <laughs> All right. Right. So, Maybe we're close enough that good ma magic will work. Well, he... we were in the light. Didn't the light help even when we were out of the light? I can't ah. remember. So he casts Mage Hand and a glowing blue hand drifts over to the chain, wraps its hand around it, and pulls. And as it pulls, you see the grate lift. Lift it. Uh-huh. Mm. Any wild magic when he just did that? Nothing visible. Okay. Okay. So the grate opens how far? Uh, just like comes it, up? It opens as far as the hand pulls. When he stops the hand pulling, the grate stops rising. Mm. Straight, straight no, up? No, it's... Okay. Opening like a lid. Okay. And then he has the hand move up and the grate moves back down. Interesting. Well... Mm, I have no idea what that could be for. Punishment? Um, unless you take... Well, oh, it's, I would imagine it's that up it would... now, Sam, right? Pardon? It's still up? No, he had the hand, like, ease the chain up, and it closed again. Oh. I can't... I can't imagine that it would be so easy to find and so easy to access. Maybe. I don't know, though. I guess if you're killing people, you want to make it easier. Here, um, just come down this hall. open it again? Mm-hmm. He has the hand pull, and it lifts up again. I'm going to run around, like, walk back around into the room. Okay. With, with it up, did the heat go out any? Doesn't and it's seem not, to. Not like a thing on the other side where heat's coming in. No. No. You go up to that wall and look at it and put your hand on it and it's a little yeah. it's a little warmer, but barely. Okay. okay. So it's not heating that chamber. No. I wonder could you put it how okay, is it just fire or is it lava? It where you looks like if there was such a thing as clouds of fire, that's what it looks like when you so look it's down into magical? it. Magical, probably something. So, could you theoretically take some, put some in a bowl, and take it to your chamber and make it hot, or would it destroy the bowl? <gasps> I run back to the other room and grab the bowl with the stupid moldy fruit. Okay. Dump out the fruit. Okay. Clearly. Yeah. Come back. Okay. How hot is it once I get closer to it? Like, um, scaldy ouchy hot? It's uncomfortably hot, but not hot enough that it will damage you. At least not as far as above the plane of the floor. Okay. I don't know if you should stick the bowl in there. If it's a fire elemental, then we kill it. Oh. If it's... I'm curious. It wasn't I'm even curious. thinking that way. Like a fire <laughs> elemental going to pop out of it? I don't, I don't know. And I stick the edge of it in and try to lift up. Just not like lift up flat so it comes rolling back at me. But just I want to see if it destroys the plate completely or if it's... So you're just kind of dipping the plate in? Yes. Okay. You dip the plate in and pull it back up, and molten metal is dripping from the edge. And then I just toss it in there so I don't burn myself. Molten okay. metal! Dang it. You melted the metal! I did. I just wanted to see if it was something that you could take back to your room and get all warm. Nope! Warm. It's not. 
<laughs> it's not. I, I just tell everybody. I think not. I should probably close this now. Uh huh. Oh, shnikes. Well, thanks for the experiment. That was fun. It was uh, interesting. I go back in that room real quick. I run back in that room. Is there anything? Any other bed chambery thing that's not made of metal? Any? Any? Everything in the yeah. everything in the room that that isn't metal has pretty much deteriorated to the point it's where true. it falls apart when you touch it, like Gone. the curtains when you drew them back from the mirror. Right, 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 right. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, well, I have no idea what it's for then. Like and I come back and dust myself off and... Oh, there was no dust in that room. Yeah. Right. It was from the moldy fruit. Well, now we know what's down here. Let's... I guess go back. All right. Where would you like to go next? Do we want to go here? Yeah, I guess that's that's next, right? Yeah. Let's see how much we can clear before Oberus and what's his name show up. Andrews. Andrews. Like I'm rude. <gasps> Speaking of which, I don't even know where I put it. But what? Dice. I got new dice. Oh. <gasps> I did. I got new dice. I also got my sets of uh, what are the ones that uh, are just the high variance. High variance. I, so yeah, I got ones, the word one. Ones, twos, and threes, and 19, 18s, and 20s. Or 19 and 20s. That's all that's on them. Huh. It's pretty cool, dude. I'm not using them, though. They're metal. All right. Well, go ahead and... Uh, and what? Move yourself to where you will be. Oh, oh. Uh, so far, Afgar has run down the hallway by himself. <laughs> Whee! Oh, I got in front of him. <laughs> Push past him. Get out of the way! Um, where do we go? Up. Ah, I see it. Okay. Doo -doo -doo. You bring the lantern up. And you see a hallway that appears to end. Yeah, I don't believe that it ends. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> Tasha, tap, tap, tap. It's on the tap, 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 tap. All right. Roll investigation, please. Uh... Fifteen? Uh, you do not find <clears throat> anything that suggests it is other than it appears. Okay. So, I have a question. This room with this light and this dark was fairly easy to find. I guess once you get past the giant guy, it's going to be easy to get to a bunch of these things, or we're going to find... I don't know what I was saying. I was trying to say that there is less um, traps and stuff, I would imagine. But anyhow, let's just be safe. Okay. Sorry. So Tasha investigated this and didn't find anything? Correct. Um, that seems weird. I want to look too. Okay. Make um, an investigation check. I want to cast Guidance. Okay. In case the effects of the light back. 
roll 20. I'm trying to scroll in and it just like rolls too fast. Mm-hmm. Right. No, right? All right, it's you either... cast Guidance, and if there is a, some sort of surge, it's something that you don't notice. Hmm. Well, almost as high as I can go. 23. 23. You also do not find anything. So it's a legitimate dead end? I don't buy it. It appears that way. Sweet. Detect magic. All right. You cast detect magic. And the spell goes off. You look all around. You don't see anything toward the end of the hallway. However, when you glance over your shoulder, you see... um, Yeah, I suppose he would have moved down here too, so... Uh, Looking at your companions, you see that each one of them appears to be surrounded by some sort of sparkling multicolored aura. Look at my hand. You see it on your own hands as well. Tasha. Uh? Uh, Make a history check for me with advantage. Yeah. Okay. History. Um, 20. Dirty 20. As, well, I don't know. Arabelle, do you describe the what you're seeing? Well, yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> Never mind then, Tasha. You... Well, all righty then. But... I tell them they're all sparkly vampires. Oh, dear God, I have they're to kill all of vampires. them. They're not vampires. Well, thanks for guaranteeing... Now you described it. Thanks for it's guaranteeing the TPK. Um, oh, no. No, oh. I'm David Bowie. I'm not a sparkly vampire. Oh, oh no. That we all have an, a sparkling aura of magic around us, probably from that light room. I mean, because we have been able to cast spells since then, so it must have done something to us. Tasha, her description immediately brings to mind the mm-hmm. explosion of energy that occurred after you defeated the armored statue. Oh. So I, I say, do you think it has something to do with destroying that statue? I don't know anything in this place anymore. I right? Have no idea. All kinds of crazy. Um, we just we well, defeated the statue before we found the room with the the good and the bad and the light and the dark, right? Yes. Yeah. Could uh-huh. be the light. She didn't look at. Oh no, she did. Didn't you detect magic in the room trying to look at the fires? Yeah. She but did. I was looking at the fire and not you guys. She was looking at the fire and she was l- the only person or the only two people that were visible were on the opposite side of the white glow. Could have been the room. Or the golden glow, so. Mm-hmm. Where? Uh. And, like, touching the wall at the end, it's solid, right? Yes. Do we want to search the walls from where we are all the way to the end, pressing all the things? Yes. All right, let's do it. This we then do. Do you need us to roll anything? I would like to give Tasha here to here is what you're looking at? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I rolled a natural 19. Which one do you want me to do? 
Investigation? Yes. 21. That's about almost as high as I can go. I, I rolled an actual 20, and I gave you guidance. Listen. Which is a die 4. four. Uh, Figured she had the highest uh, score. So. All right. Hey. Hold up. Uh, hold up. We just got kicked off again. So I'm going to pause for like 60 seconds and try and fix this. Okay. Oh, no. All right. And we're back. We're going to try this again. The technology is giving us fits this evening, so hopefully this will help. Okay. But... In a natural 20... Okay, hold on. So, everybody is searching the hallway on both sides to try and see if there's anything else there. Right. Got it. I got a 21, high as I can go pretty much without rolling an Addy 20, so... I got a 29. All right. You each find... Jack and Squat. Mm. Nothing. Man. It's a hallway. I find that what we have is a hallway. Maybe they just didn't put well, that instruction, but that seems weird. It does seem weird. Like the Winchester building. Maybe from the back side, like from the other side, maybe it connects. Maybe. All right, well, I guess yeah, we, we should have these. Should go back this way then? Yeah, I think we should go back yes. up to the room where the statue was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. We got two different hallways, I think, to go down. Yeah. Yep. All right, so which one do you want to investigate first? The one that leads the direction of the dead end hallway or the one where the light is coming out? Go to the south one. The dead end hall. Yeah, this one. All right. Yeah. All right. To make a long story short. It dead ends also. It dead ends also. Rude! So right. this this is this is a dead end. This here. It appears to be. Mm. Mm. They probably were gonna connect the finish. That's kind of weird, though. Mm-hmm. I mean, I guess okay. we'll take it, but. So, but this way. Yep. To the light. I roll a 23 just to double check the... You do not find anything. Alright. And actually, Tasha, it's over here. Uh, over over here? Yeah. Okay. Right. right here? This is the light? Yep. Okay. Well, you can see... Um, this little bit right here is lit up. Okay. So, from the edge of the hallway, all we can see is those things, just a little bit of light. Who's going first? Oh! Oh, that's weird. You see what appears to be Uh a grove of trees. (gasps) And through the trees, you see an enormous 
Schwan sucker. <laughs> Pedestal. Looks like maybe maybe it Prime? could be an altar. Hmm. Um, well, let's go check it out, I guess. Tappy, tappy, tap. Tappy, tappy, tap. Tappity, tappity. Is that an investigation? Yes. Looking for trappities. 25. You're so funny. Get the pun game strong on this one. I do. We'll take the light. All right. Well, you don't need it. Oh, this room is it's... lit. Okay. It is lit. Sorry. Thank you. <clears throat> lit AF. This chamber is filled with a greenish light that seems to emanate from everywhere and nowhere at the same time. But that's not the strangest thing in this room. This is a 40 by 40 room that contains a small forest. Hello, little trees. Is this similar then to the room we found underneath the... Except that all of these trees are green. Like, are they fruit bearing? Yes, they are. Ooh. Is there a bunch of dead fruit I'll, all over the floor? I'll get there. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Trees of varying <laughs> shapes and sizes are growing here along with bushes and grass, all springing from a white dirt that covers the floor. Across the room from the entrance, a large, strange altar of some kind sits. The air in this room is, is fresh and, and loamy, like you'd expect to find in a forest. Mm. There are three trees growing amidst the others here with odd-looking fruit amidst their branches. There's also what appears to be an oak tree with green leaves veined with bright blue. So the fruit is growing and the unseen servants are taking it to the rooms, which is why it's moldy fruit and still has fruit versus everything else, which is just dead and old. Could be. Oh. Right. Could be. Because the fruit was moldy. Like, it was still, you could tell it was fruit. Everything well, else. Well, it, like the... it was desiccated. It was, like, dried out. It wasn't oh. moldy. It, was it thinking... almost looked mummified. Is oh, there... Oh. That's different than what I was thinking. More so. Okay, is there fruit on, on the trees? Uh, yes, there is. What kind? Is... Uh, well, one tree... Uh, it looks uh -oh. like Ooh. an orange, except it's the color that of a ripened plum. That is their internet plum. service, not OBS. Oh, Jesus God. Really? I can't catch a break. Do you want me to... I just can't catch a break tonight. Are we on? on? Uh, I think so. I was going to say, do you want me to put it up on my Zoom? Different reconnection. For if it OBS. happens again, we might. <laughs> yeah, if OBS drops again, Nikki could host it. Because it'd just be putting Zoom up. It wouldn't be any... Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. No, it appears that we're back. We just can't 
Catch Ooh. a break tonight. Yeah, I was like, mm, we shouldn't play tonight, see? Shouldn't have played. <laughs> no, I refuse to give up. <laughs> Never say die. Never surrender. Okay, so the question was... <clears throat> yes. The first tree has fruit on it that um, it looks like an orange. Mm -hmm. It has that same sort of texture to the rind of mm -hmm. the fruit, mm -hmm. but it's the color of a ripened plum. Ooh. That's a no from me, dog. No plums um, like for you? Hmm? I'm gonna try it. What? I smack it out of her hand. <laughs> Why can't we eat it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You think it's poison? Potentially. Um, or it does funny things to you because this looks partly like Everwood stuff. Question, is there dead fruit on the ground of like tree, like being here for millennia and like... <laughs> no. Mm, There's no fruit on the ground. So... I'm... Do whatever you want. Pick it up and... <clears throat> <laughs> it. <laughs> Maybe you'll turn purple. <laughs> Violet, you're turning violet, Violet. <laughs> All right, um, Tasha, mm. I need you to make a constitution save, please. Oh, no. Okay. I, like, make you drunk off your ass. Ooh, well, there's a thought. <laughs> Come on, Nikki, live dangerously. Mm -mm. No, not in this place. <laughs> While she's partaking... I'll look at the other trees. Ugh, there we go. Okay, Constitution. Constitution. Um, 16? It has a very pleasant taste to it. Uh, it's kind of like it has the texture of an orange, but it uh -huh. has the taste of a plum. Um, and... That's just hybridization. You eat it. It tastes good. You don't detect any ill effects. Okay. All right. Sarith, as you continue to examine the other trees in the room, the second tree that appears to be bearing fruit... Uh, appears to be bearing small golden fruit. It actually looks like a cherry, mm. but it looks like a cherry made of gold. Wow. I take one down and just split it open. Like, you know. And see what's inside. There is a a, a dark metallic looking pit in the center of it. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> and cool. uh, as you crack it open, uh, you get some of the juices on your hand, uh, mm -hmm. and the smell of the fruit immediately. Uh, becomes detectable it smells kind of like cinnamon and vanilla combined with a cherry oh god I want one well I'll hand it to her how big they're little tiny right they're the size of like uh, bing, bing, cherries? Bing, bing cherries yeah okay so quarter size I will yeah. eat it all right uh, if you would, make a constitution save. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh, it tastes exactly like it smells. Um, it's like having dessert in a single fruit. 
Um, there doesn't seem to be any other sort of effect. You should take some of these back to Aloric. <laughs> we would be his bestie best friends. I know. If they don't do anything, we'll, we'll just have to... Right. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Here's a bunch of elephants. mysterious... Here's a bunch of mysterious fruit. We don't know what it does. Have fun! The third tree that has fruit on it, um, they look like bananas, except they're sky blue. Weird. I'm not eating that. I am. Okay. All right. Are we, again? Are we all together? I would assume so. We haven't okay. we haven't moved our icons, but. I would assume that we're all up here in the in the middle somewhere. What does Asgar have to say about the fruit? <laughs> that all looks very strange. It's it's everwood type fruit. It's so, so we're, we're up up here by by Asgar. Yeah, everybody's in the middle. Okay. 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 Oh yeah, because I'm <clears throat> looking at it. Uh. Tasha, are you going to try the blue banana? Yes. You peel it back, and the banana itself is a pale blue color. Okay. It smells a little bit like some kind of berry, but you can't immediately identify it from the scent. Poison berries! Poison berry? Heck yeah! Banana berry. Mm. <gasps> Banana berry. Banana berry. Crunch berries! So do you try it? Yes. Alright, make a constitution save. And I forgot when you made your other one, you get to add plus five because we're within ten feet. Oh, oh nice. What did you get the last one? Mine. Your cherry Arabelle? Twenty-five. Oh. Eighteen. So we haven't had anything low. 18. It tastes like banana fused with blackberry. Oh. That's my favorite. Blackberries I love. Me too. But as you've kind of moved up to the trees, uh, you get a better look at that tree with the leaves where the veins are sky blue. The oak <laughs> one, yeah. And you notice that there is something growing from that tree as well. It's just hard uh, to see through the leaves. The leaves are very thick on this tree. You? Which tree is that? Um, let's see. It is um, the... Is it the biggest the, one? It's the oak tree. Oh yeah. yeah. It's the this the one. yes. <laughs> oh, are they? I go a little closer. Oop. Sucks me in and drains life out of me. <laughs> uh make a uh, make an investigation check. Uh, uh 14. 16. 16. You see that the leaves are growing in such a way that they almost seem to have grown around something. And as you sort of peel the leaf back, something bright pink catches your eye. It looks like an acorn. Aww. But it's bright pink. So weird. <laughs> Look at it. You'd say hi, or if it was whatever caused the, you know. I don't know. Have I ever told don't you taste how, good. Go over much? to the um, 
altar planting table, whatever that is over there. Okay. Have I ever told you guys how much I love the Everwood? <laughs> yes. It is pretty bizarre. So... Almost as much as you like the shrubs that live there. Right. Cool, yes. Okay. Um, the altar is, uh, it's very large. Um, and appears to be made of a polished light green wood. It almost looks as if it was carved from a single piece of wood. Wow. That's on, a big wood. on top of the altar is a large scale behind a series of runes that are carved into its surface. Okay. Um... I wish I could read runes. Well, I can read common, elvish, and infernal. Do I do I read them? Do they do anything? Say anything? Uh, make a history check. Mm, not horrible. Seventeen. They don't make any sense to you. Cathar. <laughs> uh. Yes. Can you make anything out? Hmm. Let me look. Ooh, probably not. <laughs> Does somebody have the comprehend languages? Do as a spell? No, it doesn't. It doesn't translate to any of the. Any of the languages I know. I guess I can try. Yeah, I just know the two, so... Mm. Are you saying history? Yes. Uh, 24. You look at it, and you kind of tilt your head a little bit, and move to the end and kind of look at it this way and go oh they're runes that denote images so it's not a language to be translated necessarily and the, the images almost seem to be a series of instructions Okay. Now, is this carved into the altar on a scroll? Or? It's carved into the surface of the altar. Okay. It looks like it was burned into the surface of the altar. Etched. Okay. And the instructions uh, show people, uh, show the placing of each type of fruit and the acorn on one side of the scale and then placing something on the other side of the scale. Hmm. What? And then the, the result runes are images that don't make any sense to you. You almost get the idea that it was sort of like like the emojis of the time that don't mean anything anymore. That nobody's used in a hundred years or so. I so can't tell what was on the other side. No. It just okay, is there any it just thing basically on? indicates a hand placing something on the other side. Hmm. So I get an acorn and a piece of each fruit. Okay. I put it on the one side as indicated. Um, Nothing happens though because we don't know what the other thing is. I'm gonna put. Um, 
I'm gonna pull the my sensor out of my uh, backpack mm-hmm. and put it on there, on the other side. Just any object was gonna have a sensor. It's like the little incense thing, right? Yep. All right. You sit the acorn on one side. Let's put the sensor on the other side. Nothing happens. Nothing. So was it all the everything on there, or one at a time? The it was like one at a time. Okay, but the other thing didn't change. Nope. The the symbol of the hand placing something on the other side is the same symbol in all four runes. <gasps> Sand, maybe. sand from this room? I don't know. Pick it's not it's sand. not sand, it's dirt. Pick up yeah, some dirt and throw it on dirt. there. Okay. Nothing happens. Um, and what did we find in the other in the cabinet? Boots um, and what else was there? There was a cloak, a staff Chainmail and boots. Oh, that doesn't. Yeah, none of that really helps us. No. Okay. And that's just the four trees. I mean, there are there are other trees in here. They just aren't bearing anything. They don't have. Right. Okay. Uh, um, I'm gonna look around in the dirt <clears throat> in the scale and see if there was an, any objects there that maybe it fell off. All right, make an investigation check. Can I help? Sure. All right, Arabelle, you get advantage. Maybe I should help Tasha. <laughs> maybe you should. You look, I'll help. Okay. Does that no, mean I'm I just, get... I'm just saying I, uh... No, Maybe okay. next time. There's a scroll on top of it? Or is that the runes? Uh, that's the runes. Okay. I didn't have any control over what was nope. on the altar that's icon. Fine. I love the so. altar. It looks adorable. I'm helping Tasha. Then I'm going to give her guidance instead of myself. Well, this time you're doing the searching. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because you already declared that. Yep. But Tasha's helping you, so you get advantage. Yeah. Yeah. 16. 16. Um, You dig around in the dirt around the altar. Um, You find a lot of dirt. Um, Oh, a lot of dirt. And you are about to give up when your fingers hit something metallic. And you dig around a little bit and pull up what appears to be uh, a very old, thin copper piece. Money. Okay. Well, I'll put that on the scale. Nothing happens. Uh, I will put a bunch of copper on the scale if I have some. I have seven copper. All right. Seven. Actually, I'm going to put seven copper and 47 silver on there. Okay. What? What? It, what is it? It's uh, 54 coins. Okay. You notice that so far, nothing you've put on the scale has made the scale actually tip in any way. Right. It remains oh, perfectly weird. level. Uh, so you managed to carefully stack all of those coins on there. Uh, pick up the no acorn account. while the money is still on there. Oh, pick okay. up the other acorn. Uh, the acorn off the thing. And nothing happens. Oh, okay. I take all the money. I put it back in my pockets. I put a platinum can on there. Can I tilt the scale? No, it doesn't move. 
Uh, you try it, and it reacts as if it's not actually a scale. It's a solid, carved uh, piece of metal that looks like a scale. Not a scale. Okay, well, is a scale. Magical scale, though. Platinum? Platinum does nothing? Well, you put the platinum on. Do you put the acorn back on? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Take everything off. Put the acorn on. Okay. One side, platinum on the other. Nothing happens. They both sit there. Inert. Looking at me, accusatory. <laughs> put a second acorn on the other side. For a revolution. Whoa. Okay. Right. No change. All right, this scale's stupid. <laughs> that was Pam. I don't like it. I don't like it. That's hilarious. Uh, maybe Oberus will have some ideas. Maybe. maybe he will. Athgar says, well, I guess we've tried everything else. Pulls a gold piece out, tosses it on the scale. Friggity frick fracks. And? There is a bright flash of light. Oh! <laughs> I oh my gosh, I'm so, so funny. <laughs> and I curse loudly. <laughs> so funny. Oh my gosh. The gold piece is gone. <gasps> and the pink acorn is now is now veined in sky blue. Whoa, weird. So we do it with each thing, I'm sure. Okay. Um, each one, there's a flash, the gold piece disappears, and then the fruit is there, now veined in sky blue. Well, who's brave enough to try this fruit? I will eat the cherry. Sorry, <laughs> Blue, I was being sarcastic. All right. Okay. You, Constitution is my highest step. You Save. eat the cherry. Eat. This time, not only is it excellent, but as you swallow the cherry, you feel a, a little pulse of energy spread throughout your entire body and then fade. Am I blue? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I try the banana. <laughs> you eat the banana. You experience that same sensation as you chew the final bite of the banana. Mm -hmm. Um, who are you looking at at the moment? Um, I'm looking at Arabelle. Arabelle, what are you thinking right now? I'm wondering what is different about this fruit. You hear, uh, Tasha, you hear Arabelle say, I wonder what's different about this fruit. Well, it allows me to hear what you think. You realize that Tasha just responded to the question in your head, but you didn't actually say it out loud. But nothing happened when I ate the other one. Not that you know of. Okay. All right, so the bananas give you telepathy. I'm going to look at them. her and try to read her thoughts. Huh? Look back at her and see if you can read her thoughts. Or read mine. Read mine! I, I look at your story. <laughs> <laughs> you might think of something to make me laugh. Well, no, you'd probably just make it something. Like I look that. at right. Zori. I look at Zori as well. Purple horses with blue spots running through a field. 
Tasha, you see that image like it was shown to you. Really? Purple horses? Yeah. Arabelle, you stare at Zorath and concentrate, and you're like... Nothing. Mm. I wonder why it's working on me, but not you. That's weird. Quite a different fruit. Oh, yeah. Anyone want to eat a plum orange? Ooh. Well... I don't know. I want to keep. If my plum. options are the acorn or the orange, I'll take the plum orange. All right. Yeah. You consume the plum orange as you eat the last slice. You again uh, feel what they've described—that energy that, as you swallow it, it hits about the center of your torso and then just spreads out through your entire body and then fades. I look at Tasha and I try, I like squint my eyes and I try to read her thoughts. Tasha, you look at Zorith and sense how hard she's concentrating trying to read your thoughts. Oh, don't try so hard, you hurt yourself. Zorith, you. No thoughts. Not getting anything. I want to... <clears throat> Athgar says, oh, I'm gonna great. Jump. I guess that leaves the <laughs> acorn for me. <laughs> you don't eat an acorn. I uh, jump. You do. You jump. You can, you can eat an acorn. They don't taste They're right. edible. Yeah, they're I kind jump. of bitter. In the air. And he pulls the cap off and kind of dusts it off and puts it in his mouth and you see him pause close his eyes for a second and then he bites down and he kind of goes it tastes like sugar ah no kidding Hmm. Hmm. and he swallows it and says well I feel that same sort of uh, tingling energy and as you look at Athgar you're not exactly sure what's happened to him but he's grown handsomer significantly (laughs) that's weird I don't feel any different. And you notice that his voice is smoother. <laughs> and if anything, a little bit more sensual. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm not going to eat an acorn then. I, I laugh at him and I grab him and I run him back to the mirror. All the way back? Well, we're not that far. It, like on the other side of the... I have a mirror in my bag, I'm sure. Oh, do you? Or just, you can look in the shield. Yeah. I oh. mean, there's, there's no shortage of reflective surfaces you can use. I take her shield and I hold it up to him. And he looks and goes, Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. I think Cute. that's what we're supposed to say, but... I... <laughs> I don't think I've ever felt quite this confident in my life. How you got, a, you got to add left. charisma. Yeah, that is what I'm wondering too. Can I still hear? Well, okay, so I look at at, at, at uh, Athgar. 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 He's only been with you for like three months now. You can get his name right It someday. hasn't been three months. I mean real time. Oh, I was like... <laughs> I, I look at him and I try to hear what he's thinking. He's basically thinking, I imagine this is what my father feels like. Aww. Being so accomplished. I. It's like I've lost my doubts. I've lost my, my fears. I feel like I could do anything.
And then I, he uh, kind of looks up and notices you concentrating on him, Tasha, and he kind of blushes. Which is gorgeous, by the way. <laughs> makes him sex. Smexier. I, uh... I jump. Okay. You jump. Do I jump any further or higher than I could before? Okay. Nope. I jump. Figure I'm checking, like, you know, the different, like, that. I'm looking strange. in the back. Do we have wings? Nope. Well, you and I have something. Um, I, I need all of you to make a perception check. Oh. I see nothing. Well, I rolled the exact same on both of my dice, so 23. Ooh, wow. Mm-hmm. 10. With a dog toy. 19. Athgar got a 14. So it's only Arabelle and Tasha who happen to see two figures step out of the tree trunks. Hello? Each one of them... It's really hard to say. It... It looks like maybe at one point they had been injured, but it's been so long since they were bandaged that the bandages have become part of their body. Ugh. And as they step oh, out of no. the tree... What if- What if we're, like... They immediately orient on uh, Tasha and Athgar, who are the closest to, and I need everybody to roll initiative. All right, so... But we're all down, really, by the altar, right? Like, everybody was down by the scale. Yeah, well... Then everybody should move there, but yeah, Athgar and like Tasha Athgar are the and I are there. Yeah, Athgar, Athgar and, and Tasha there. are the furthest to the top. Yeah, but I think Tasha is actually down by the rest of us. Wait, 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 wait! Ice cream. Oh, initiative. Yes. Right. I can still scream that right before we do an ish. Sure. Or doesn't, no. doesn't necessarily do any good, but you can do it. Sixteen. Arabelle? Twenty. And Zorth. Ten. What'd you say? Ten. Ten. Okay. All right. Well... Arabelle, you're up first. You see uh, them I'm immediately gonna... begin moving forward at this sort of solid lumbering pace. Um, I will... Um, how far are they? Uh, are these tens or twenties or how big are these squares? The closest one to you is about thirty feet away. The other one is uh, a little over forty feet away. All right, then I'm going to move here. Okay. And I am going to turn undead. Okay. That was me. Nice. If they are undead. Mm-hmm. If they are, they have to make a wisdom saving throw DC 16. Okay. 
All right. Doesn't seem to affect either of them. Okay. Um, and then... There's a bonus action. I am going to cast um, magic weapon on my sword. Okay. Mm. All right. Uh, Tasha. Um. I'm going to cast... No, I'm not going to cast. Um, sure, Annette. Make a decision. Um, <laughs> Hashtag always, my life. Always good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm going to use my crossbow. <clears throat> or are they they right up on me, aren't they? No. No, they're okay. the closest one is about thirty feet. The furthest one is a little over forty feet. Oh, okay. Well, that's good then. So my cross my crossbow range is like eighty, so we're good there. So um, eighteen to hit. Okay, uh, that will hit. Okay. Eight points of damage. All right. The bolt slams into the, the creature's shoulder, and you see it go. Oh, that's not good. Why? Why does it have to be zombies? Uh, if it makes you feel any better, these are not zombies. I, I thought they were not Three zombies. Um. All right, Athgar's turn. Worse than zombies. Bad. Nobody's got an axe to take him off at the knee. I was hoping maybe you would get something with the cherries. You would get. Uh, Fight faster or something. Better. <laughs> right. Faster, Maybe stronger. Fight, fight faster or spell mastery kind of thing. All right. Uh, Athgar quickly pulls his loot over his shoulder and plays a haunting, discordant tune. And you see black, wispy notes begin to float around both of the creatures. Ooh. They have been baned. Oh, cool. And Zorath. Oh, I go before they go? Uh huh. Gee. Um, now I have to look up which one Bane is. What does Bane do? Spells. It, it forces it's... them to. Charisma saving throw. Yeah. D4. Oh, it's like bless. It's just D4 subtracting. Yeah, from hits, uh, attacks, and saving throws. It's, yeah, just the opposite yeah. of bless. Mm -hmm. yeah. Opposite of bless. Occur. Occur. So if they, when they roll to hit, they lose a D4. When they roll saves, they lose a D4. Right. For as long as Athgar is concentrating on that spell. I am going to cast... Nope, not that. No fire. I'm going to cast Ray of Frost. Um, range spell attack. 
Oh, natural 18 plus 9. Yeah, that's going to hit. Um, <laughs> but they're so fast. <laughs> it's speedy. <laughs> oh, no, they're not zombies. Never mind. Uh, tug my hair and I see uh, hand on my uh, whatever that thing is Wand. that gives me thank you and uh, tug my hair and say burr and point it at them which, one of them which one the one that is the furthest from everybody so the right one okay and I'm gonna roll to the A Wait, are we at 3d8 yet? No, hold on, let me look. What did I say? Ray of Frost? Yes. 2d8. Woohoo, 12. 12 points of damage. Ow. Does anything magic happen. happen? Um, no. I love this! <laughs> um, you cast the spell and it flies at the creature and strikes it mid-torso and you see the frost spread across it and it visibly slows down. Ooh, nice. Now it is their turn. The one that Zorith hit is moving slow enough that it can't get to its new prime target which would be Arabelle. The other one, on the other hand, can and does. Should have done it the other way around. Sorry. Not worried. Well, one of th- one of them would have made it regardless. Oh, okay. Well. So you did the best you possibly could. Yay. Um, well, that's really unfortunate. Crit me. Yep. Rude. Rude. Uh. Oh Jesus. Okay, so you take uh, the thing reaches out with its fist and just punches you right in the face. In the face. Yep. You take uh, seventeen points of bludgeoning damage. And 24 points of necrotic damage. And I need you to make a con save. Okay, 24 necrotic. What? And what was the other one? Eight. Uh, Eight punch. Eight for your con save? No, eight. Yeah, I rolled a one. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. Lowest Um, I can roll. Does the fruit help her any? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Just rude. Okay. All right, then that takes us back to the top, and that would be Arabelle. We, we don't know what happened. She took a lot of damage. That's what everybody knows. What was so? It was twenty-four necrotic, and what was the other one? 
17. 17. Bludgeoning. Ooh. Um. That's a bad idea. All right. I will attack. Or attempt to. All right. Well, there's one at range in your face, so... All right, first attack is a 19 to hit. That will hit. That is uh, 11 point, no, 10 points of damage. All right. And second attack. Also a 19 to hit. Nice. For nine points of damage. All right. You slash the thing twice. You actually manage to cut off its left hand with your first strike. And the second strike, clean across the chest. And you hear bones crack and you see dust puff out. Mommies. Daddies. Not zombies. Mommies. Boo. Undead boo. Oh, but she tried to turn undead. (laughs) And they both made their save. Rude. So, Tasha, you're up. That's different. Well, I... Use my crossbow again, I guess. Do it again now that they're baned. Ooh. Um, oh, I can. I can only do it once. 26 to hit. That will definitely hit. And 12 points of damage. Uh, to which one? The one that's fighting Arabelle? Yes. Okay. Uh, that sticks basically right in the temple and there's Uh now just a bolt sticking out of the temple of the thing as it continues to try and maul Arabelle. Ugh. Um. Alright. Athgar is going to move behind it and flank it and then pull his sword and attempt to strike it. Yup, and that would be a hit. That die. Ooh. <coughs> he swings at the creature and his sword flashes with a brilliant golden radiance when it strikes the creature, and the blade goes completely through the torso and bisects the thing. Mm. Oh, Asgard. And it falls to the ground in two pieces. And again, he kind of looks at the sword like, what the hell just happened? Coolest sword. Yay for daddy's sword. <laughs> Mama sword. Mama sword. Mama sword. Mama who was a paladin. Yeah. So is he. Holy sword. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, even in his bewilderment, he looks just utterly adorable. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, right, because he looks fancy pretty. Uh huh. Right. 
Yeah, just Correct. for point of reference, his charisma went up four. Oh my god. I need to eat an acorn. He went from a 17 to a 21. I you need to get, get an acorn. You can't get any prettier. I could get plus four. It went over 20 for him. It could go over 20 for me. I need something to improve my constitution. That's what I need. Well. Um, all right. Zora. my ability. Based, so. Zorith. I'm going to... Cast a first level magic missile. Okay. No, that's 1d4 plus 1. No, no. I'm not going to miss them because they're right there. Um, mm, 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 Ray of Frost again. On okay. the same guy. All right. Uh, 18 to hit. That will hit. Ugh, seven points of poopy damage. <clears throat> Dumb. All right. And now it's their turn. Or Wait a minute. Bisects that one. Did it kill it? Yeah. Oh, so there's only one of them to yeah. take care of. Okay, good. And it moves to attack Athgar. <laughs> and misses the swirling musical notes around it seem to interfere with its attempt to strike him because this time they didn't roll a 20 what is, how does that nice. how does Bane work on a crit it doesn't I mean, they weren't baned yet. I just wondered right. in general, did it well, do anything? Well, it will still reduce the total number to hit, but he would have even... Basically, you then apply his bonus to hit to the 20 and apply the negative from gotcha. the bane. If he would miss, I would rule that as just a normal hit. Gotcha. So kind of how, like, yeah, it used to have, like, the threat range or whatever, but you still had to hit or whatever. Gotcha. Right. Right. Okay. All right. So, uh, Arabelle. All right. I will attack the zombie. I mean, mummy. Whatever it is. All right. Where are you going to be? Do you want to... Like, go ahead and position um, yourself where you're so going to a attack from. I'll just move up to it, right? Okay. Uh, 14. 14 will hit. 14 Ooh, will wow. hit. Okay. Nice. Ooh, max damage. Uh, 11 points. 11 nice. points. All right. And... 15, so that will hit. Yep. For another 11 points. Nice. Max damage on both damage. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Tasha. I will... It, it's still up, right? Oh yeah. The the, the mummy. Yep. Okay. Um, Eighteen to hit. That will definitely hit. Okay. Four points. Eight points of damage. All right. It's looking rather misshapen at this point. Okay. Um, but it's still up. Okay. Um, all right. Oh. Oh, no. Ah. Well, actually, I think that will still hit. 
Yeah. Huh? Athgar rolled a six and still hits it. And this time cuts the thing in two diagonally across the body. Woohoo! And the sword does that flashing of golden radiance thing again. Right. Undead. And he says, I really like this sword. It is nice. <laughs> yep. I wonder if you eat more than one thing, will it cancel something else out? I don't know. And how long they last, because... Like a tree, you know, uh, if it was permanent, I don't know. All right. Well, there doesn't appear to be anything else threatening in the chamber at the moment. Hmm. Um, Tasha, you do notice mm. that now when you look at people and concentrate, you can no longer hear what they're thinking. Yeah, I didn't think it was permanent. Oh, good. But I will take some bananas to go. I'll take some acorns with me since all my stats are, or my stuff's charisma based. Right. <laughs> um, I mean, Actually, I should do that too because a lot of mine is charisma based. Well, we'll have to, you'll have to pay for them. Yeah. They're otherwise they're just fruit, so you have to pay gold to get the oh to get the of bonus. That. Oh, That's I, right. I got gold. Wish plus we knew what the four, other two things did. Plus four charisma gives us all plus two on saving throws. Oh, well, yeah. If we only knew what the other two things did. I know. Right? Huh. Ooh, well, wasn't that fun? I guess we should look through the rest of this room and see if there's anything else hiding. Mm hmm. I. You. We'll be right back. Okay. Where are you going? Didn't I... Wasn't there something, Jeff, I figured out about the light with the healing? Yes. Oh, I see. So you're going to go back to get healed. I'm going to go get in the light. It's a good plan. All right. You... Step into the light, and once again, you feel that that incredible warmth, the, the amazing memories that come rushing back, and you feel your wounds begin to close a little. You get three hit points back. <laughs> oh, okay, it's little, okay. How long do you want to stand in the light? Oh, they're going to search that room a little bit more, right? We are. Okay. Um, ten minutes? Five minutes? Ten. I'll do ten minutes. Okay, oh, you're ten. fully healed. Long before the ten minutes is up. Oh, nice. Nice. Then I will go back while they do the cell, whatever they're doing while I'm gone, but I had no spells left and I'd like, I mean, I had lay on hands but I'd rather save that. So. Alright. I do have cure wounds, just so you know. Right, but if we can guess, do it for free. Oh, absolutely. I just want you to know that Yeah. in a, in a pinch. 
I'm bringing I myself help. back, but I'm gonna be gone for. I gotta walk back and, mm -hmm. time, you know, and then back. So I'm probably gone 15, 20 minutes. 15. <clears throat> All right. Well, everybody who's searching, go ahead mm -hmm. and roll investigation. Investigation. That's the wrong one. Nineteen. Nine. Nine. Um, Nine. And Athgar <laughs> rolled a twenty. Well, you two look at everything. I'm looking at dirt and the bottoms of the trees and Well, the general consensus is pretty much just more of the same. Mm. You find more fruit on the fruit-bearing trees. You find more acorns on the elm tree. Elm tree? Or oak tree, sorry. Thank you. Um, much to Zorth's dismay, none of the bushes appear to move. Rude. We still don't know what the other two things do, but... Hmm... Charisma and thoughts. Ooh, I try to. Well, okay, so so we know what the banana does, and right. we know what the acorn does. Who ate the cherry? She did. Okay. She did. Who who and you ate the? the okay, well, try to lift something heavy. I tried to jump to see if it. Like, because that's a strength-based thing to see if I could, you know, higher or anything. I couldn't, but I didn't lift anything. Well, it would have worn off by now, so we got to eat another one. Yeah, true, true. Um, okay, I'm, I'm gonna get some acorns. I mean, I don't know yeah. That. I'm going to They'll last. The other stuff might will rot, right? But the acorns would last. Maybe, maybe One not. I don't know. They might last. Um, I am. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna use some gold and get what four acorns. I'm going. I'm going, gonna going, to... <laughs> I'm going right. to do the orange again and try to lift. Well, who's the heaviest? Oh, and I'm gonna do a cherry too, because I want. I mean, Athgar probably, right? Yeah, probably. Or me in my armor. Oh, good point. Right. Yeah, well, I guess it's not that. It's only chain. I don't know how heavy it is. Well, right. it, you can, you can. Oh, it can, weighs oh, fifty-five you, pounds. Okay. <laughs> you can convert. Perhaps. However much you want, it's a gold piece per conversion. Okay. And yeah. uh, if you try to experiment with doing more than one at a time, it doesn't work. Okay. okay. Um, I tried the orange again and tried to lift the heaviest person. It seems as uh, as much of a challenge as it usually would be. Mm -hmm. I'll eat a cherry. Um. Okay. Okay, so it was cold. Does he have anything to do? Um, I think about flying. Can I fly? Okay. Um, I'm gonna pick up Athgar. <laughs> Athgar, may I attempt to pick you up? Uh, if you wish. I try to pick up Athgar. Um, uh, he doesn't seem unusually simple to lift. Okay, yeah, no. It did not give me strength. <laughs> oh. Um. You meant actually, li never mind. <laughs> Funny. Does he laugh? He kind of smiles. It kind of went over Arabelle's head. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to go back over to the table and look at the... You mean the altar? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, no, I guess I already figured that out. Do you have that book? The cipher, the, wasn't there like a coded book? We left those in the library. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, because there were like, because there were like eight of them. That's right. I was trying to figure out a way to test intelligence. Um, I don't have anything. Well, you know that the the activated acorns seem to increase someone's Confidence. appeal. Appeal. Um, the activated bananas gave Tasha the ability to pick up thoughts. Right. Poop. I can't think of anything else that would be. All right, let's just try to figure out like is there a way to test other things. I think of flying. Do I fly? Nope. And I cast magic when I was under the influence of it previously, and nothing extra happened. That's correct. I look at Athgar. Is Athgar still really charming? Charming? Yeah, charming? Yeah. Huh. Well, then I eat an acorn. An activated acorn? Yes. Okay. And suddenly... Suddenly, Tasha's prettier. So it hasn't worn off of him. Mm -mm. But the, the acorn banana off. didn't last. I mean, the banana didn't last. Mm -mm. Well, I guess then you should eat an acorn. Can you guess how long the banana lasted? I don't know, like half an hour, maybe? No. It wasn't very long at all. It was like maybe a like, minute. Really? Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Around. Because they, they did it not long after. we. Yeah. Yeah. How long is it? But it's been... Am I back? Yeah. Okay. And it's still going for Athgar. Mm-hmm. So how long has it been? About 20 minutes. Okay. So it might be like an hour. Um, or a half hour. To charisma? So are you gonna are you gonna do it, Arabelle? Um Are you gonna do it? Well I wanna wait and see because I did the cherry, I wanna kinda wait and see if there's anything we can figure okay. out. So I'm gonna spend. I already gold. have them ready. Yeah, I'll. I'll, I'll spend um, <clears throat> ten gold and do. This feels like Miss Pac-Man. Don't know why. <laughs> Five of each. If you're All gonna right, do so I did a... five of each, that's twenty gold. No, you said it was. A gold piece per. There's four different pieces. There's four different things. Oh no, I'm sorry. I thought uh, it was like four fruit for a gold piece. No, no it's one. It's only one. one per one. I no. meant I meant an acorn and a banana because we don't know what the other ones okay. do. Okay. All right. Sorry. Yeah, Athgar did. Um, let's see what did I write down. Five acorns and then two of each of the other ones. Eh, heck, I'm just gonna do. I'll do five of each. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to. I did a cherry, and then I did eleven acorns because I'm gonna do, take one and then take ten with me, and then I'll do two more of the other each. So six more. Okay. And just I am going subtract to subtract the gold. Yep. Yeah. And keep track of it. Um, and I'm going to eat an acorn. All right. And uh, plus four. Plus four. 
is a 24. Mm -hmm. Arabelle suddenly takes on the semblance almost you think of an avatar of Terora. She is so splendid in her armor. How much does it increase your charisma? Four. 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 Okay, so so my charisma is 22 right now. Yep. Yep, you're pretty darn hot, too. I just look around, and I eat an acorn. <laughs> okay, so I get 11, ac 11 acorns. I have ten left because I took I ate one. And four bananas. Berry bananas. Berry bananas. Banana berries. Berry bananas. Okay. I'll take six more acorns. Do I look pretty now too? Yes. You take six at one? <laughs> we already know that that's not gonna do anything. Uh, so how do you change that in your charisma thingy? Other modifier? Yes. And then just go up four? Um, that's a good question. Oh, you can override score and just put it in and then it'll do it for you too. Oh, okay. We just gotta I wish they had the temp scores like they did in... 18 like in and four is 22. Um... And I'm I'm gonna get four of the cherries and four of the blood oranges. No, I just went up to nineteen. Plum oranges, plum oranges. I would like to make a charisma saving throw. <laughs> I'm confused. Against what? Plus seventeen. <laughs> I just want to make one. Plus seventeen to whatever it is. Wow. Well, because it, I get the normal charisma modifier, and then I get my charisma modifier Spirit. to every save. So it's double charisma plus the proficient plus. So I have a plus six charisma. Yeah. Total. Yep. And then it goes up to twenty-two. Okay. Yep. It you have to put it in your other modifier plus four. Hmm. Because my override score just went to 19 instead of 22. I am going to do 10 more acorns and put them aside for Araman. Oh, that's smart. I was thinking about that. Oh, that's nice. I don't know that we should give Araman any more uh, charisma swagger, but... Really? <laughs> right. That's what, that's what Arabelle would say out loud. I don't know that this is the best idea, but... This causes Tasha to, to to laugh. But. Mmm. I wonder if it's like fire resistance or something. Cold fire. Would be interesting to check. We should be able to um, get them identified, right? They're magical. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's, there we go. Later. That's when, that's when Afgar goes. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> what? Well, you don't have to do it now. I learned how to do that. You learned identify. Yes. Oh well, we should do that with uh, all of the stuff we found in that room. You know, mm -hmm. we got boots oh. and. Probably. You can do it as a ritual, right? And then it doesn't cost. It's a ritual spell, right? Um, yes, but I don't have ritual spell casting. Right. You have to have the feat oh, ritual spell casting to do it as a ritual. Oh, if you're not a wizard? As I understand it, period. Like, you have to have taken the feat and therefore you have studied ritual spell casting. Oh, I didn't realize that. I think that's how it works. I'll tell you what. Let's take a break. And that's I'll hard. look that up and figure it out. I like your play. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So, all right. We'll be back in 15, and we'll see what other kind of mischief we can get into. So, hang out, enjoy your break, and we'll be back.
And welcome back. And yay, we're still here. Look at that. It's amazing. Just amazing. I love technology. Really, I do. Okay. So, when we last uh, left our group, Athgar had just remembered that he can identify things. And I uh, did, uh, between Pam and I, we figured out that, yes, he can cast it as a ritual spell. So, it's just going to take about an hour and a half. Because we, if we want to identify the fruit, as well as the stuff we found in the cabinet, that's 80 minutes. Okay, so we'll do it right before bed. I mean, or we should. should. Okay. Or a short rest. Right. Or a short rest, but then would he get any resting? No, but he's not really expending anything. Okay. We could do a short I mean, rest here. Yeah, I guess, well, I guess the only thing I'd get back is turn undead. He, I mean, he cast, he cast a spell. Okay. So. Well, we have cleared the map, haven't we? Yeah. Mm. Mm. So well, we plus we well... should probably do it before we leave this room in case the orange and the uh, berries. Yeah, in case uh. the orange and the cherry, yeah, are something important. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, he's quite content to just go, you know, kick back in the corner yeah. and start. Sure. Identifying things. Okay. I'm ready. All right. What order do you want him to identify stuff in? Fruit first. Fruit first. <laughs> and we're here. Okay. Fruit. Fruit. Um, uh, the pink acorns, obviously, uh... -huh. uh they give you a temporary plus four bonus to your charisma score for one hour. Okay. Nice. Okay. The sky blue bananas mm. allow the person eating the fruit to detect thoughts as per the spell, which lasts for one minute or ten rounds. Okay. Interesting. The gold cherries causes all spells cast in the next hour to be affected as if they were cast using the empowered spell metamagic ability. Oh, we had it backwards. I should have used cherry and you should have done orange. Well, my, my, my uh, weapon should have done more damage then. No, I, because right. that, uh, that spell doesn't use a die roll. Oh, gotcha, right. Empowered magic, you, know, it, you get anything that you roll a die for, you get one and a half whatever you roll. Gotcha. And you said it was how long? One hour. One hour, what was it? Um, Empower. Empowered Empower spell. Empowered spell. The purple oranges are the ones that are going to make Nikki squeal like a little girl. Uh-oh. Allows allows a sorcerer to gain protection from wild surges for 24 hours. Shut up! Oh, but they'll go, they'll go bad. You get the sense that um, these, all of these will retain their bonuses for a week. But after that, oh. they'll lose them. Oh. We shouldn't have bought so many acorns. That's okay. You're going to have to be really pretty a lot in the next week. Oh, I can do right, it. Right, because I bought ten more for Aramid, so I have to be, like, pretty all the time. <laughs> but you just let him eat them after the magic has faded and just pretend. Oh, come on. Oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> Wow, have now that's you, something. Have you I gotten would do. more handsome? That's something I would do. Be like your brother. Oh, look at how handsome you are. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm He's not going to buy it. Be like Dumbo's feather, you know. Oh. <laughs> Airman doesn't need any more confidence. Let's be. He really honest. does it. <laughs> All so, right. So, a week. Wild magic for uh, I am going to, I'm going to get some more oranges, five more oranges. Okay. Five more. 
Um, but okay, so acorns, charisma. Uh, oh, I actually get some of those cherries. Cause I I what got four. All my gold? I thought I had thought I had more gold, but apparently not. All right, and then he sets about here's the gold. um working on the items from the cabinet. Yes, sir. I am ready. The cloak turns out to be a cloak of protection. Ooh. So whoever wears that gets plus one to their armor class and plus one to all their saving throws. The staff mm-hmm. is an enchanted staff, so it's a plus one quarter staff. So it's a magical weapon. The reddish chainmail mm-hmm. is armor of fire resistance. If you're wearing it, you take half damage from fire. Ooh. But the boots are really the mm-hmm. the big thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Afgar casts identify, you know, completes the ritual, casts identify, and his face gets real wide-eyed, and he immediately shucks off his own boots slips these on, stands up, and murmurs a command word, and you see little tiny wings appear on either side of each boot, and he lifts into the air. And then settles back down, and he murmurs the command word, and the wings disappear, and he takes them off and puts his own boots back on. They're boots of flying. Or winged boots is what they're called. It's Mercury! I'm Mercury. That I, is exactly what came went through my head. I that need is to talk sad. to Robin. I'm Mercury. We are so sad. <laughs> We've seen that episode of Inside the Actors Studio a little too often, I think. You think? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Presume. All right. Perhaps him, but um, I presume I'm the only one who could wear chips. Well, let's see what we got here. It is heavy armor. I believe. Yes. Okay. We haven't done the whole map. Okay. Where did we miss? There is the oh, option. Should... What? At the top. Uh, oh, we 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 went down that offshoot. Yes, it is heavy armor. Yeah. Okay, so is a quarterstaff considered a simple weapon? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I was just gonna say. Can can you use that? Sorry. I am not a monk. No, but it's a, a simple weapon. weapon. I think. Yeah, everybody gets it. Anybody can use a quarter staff. I have. Yes, quarter staffs. It's under your list of weapons for sorcerer. I have two daggers and a crossbow. Uh huh. Somebody else want it? I mean, like, I'll take it absolutely and you, play you around should, with it. You should take it, my love. Me? Okay. Yeah. You also take, take the cloak of protection. But... Who is you? No, I said you should probably be wearing the cloak of protection. Mm-hmm. Don't you have the lowest armor class? Yes, she does. It's a thirteen. Ugh. Please put on the cloak of protection. Okay, I will put on the cloak of protection to me. All right. Um, is that considered light armor or heavy armor? Heavy armor. Mm, can't do it. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm the only one who prefer heavy. Yep. Yeah. And uh, heavy armor gives you a disadvantage on stealth. Yep. Yeah. So, never mind. Um, yeah. Well, then, foo, nothing for me. But that's all right. Well, I mean, what's... But then again, it's like, is a, is an armor is the armor class going to help Zori all that much? Does a 14 
you know. Well, but she gets a plus one to all of her saving throws, too. Oh, that's true. But what's your arc? Oh, it's 15. Yeah. It's fine. If it has the boots. Well, but I thought, um... No, I just wanted to try them. No. Oh. All right, well, I'll, <clears throat> I'll try them. I'll wear the boots, then. Um, flying boots? Yes. Flying right, boots to Tasha? Well, technically, I think Zorath should get those, too. No. Oh, okay. What? Okay. It will allow you to remove yourself from ground-based combat and cast yeah. spells. That's true. Well, I don't want to take all this stuff. It's okay. But you're the one who needs it. Mm-hmm. You are. I'm squishy. You are squishy. Yes. Did Arabelle get the... Are you going to put on the chain mail? And yeah. Yeah. Can- yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wear chain mail, so it's just swapping it out for. Yeah, I mean, I love. But now you have fire like resistance. Red yeah, the red doesn't quite go with my. Ensemble. 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 Yeah. All right, well then, gosh, you guys. Okay. Is it take. Is that considered. Is that considered an action, or is that considered movement? What? The to, winged boots. To activate the boots? That's a very good question. Oh, look. You have a flying speed equal to your walking speed. You can use the boots to fly up for four hours. It literally says nothing about that. Interesting. Well, and I like fancy myself. I like like show everybody. Thank you, everyone. What were you asking? The activation? Yeah, because they don't. It looks you can like just all I- you just lift off. So I would consider activating the boots a bonus action. Okay. Right, because I think they're always basically on. I think so too. Right. I'm gonna yeah, put just... my normal. I'm gonna put my normal stuff in my bag, my normal boots, because it does say if you don't wear them for 12 hours, <clears throat> they'll gain a couple extra hours. So like, if you use them a bunch and you switch out, you'll be able to re. Well, yeah, they re- they don't recharge. Use them to fly. Right. Yeah, you don't have to take them off. You just don't fly for 12 oh, hours. They get oh, my hours. mistake. Boy, I'm silly. Sorry, says, my mistake. Yeah, the boots are gained two hours of flying capability for every 12 hours they aren't in use. So as long as you're not flying, every 12 hours they'll recharge two hours of airtime. Right. So, airtime. That's cute. You're welcome. Thank you. But you have to keep track of each time you use them. Yes. Because they only last for what, four hours? Yeah, four hours yeah, total. Minute in- well, it says that minute if, in- it says that if they if you run out while you're wearing them, you just slowly descend. Right, right. I saw that. Hmm. All right. So we did find that we didn't clear the map. We still have the very up top. We do. Yep. So let's do it. Up here. Um, how late in the day is it again? No, uh, it's probably late afternoon, like four now. Do you want to do that tonight or after a rest? Do what tonight? The rest, like, go fight or go explore the rest of it now or after a long rest? Oh, I say let's, let's keep looking. There can't be much more. Okay. I have no magic. That's Oh, okay. Not that, I mean, it's not a big deal. I don't use it that much as long as you guys are good. 
I'm good. I'm pretty good. I did mostly cantrips. Yeah. And Tasha, yeah, got- Tasha and I can both heal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I still have lay on hands, and I've got my healer's kit. So. so. And we have our glowy room. All right. So, do we get back up there without issue? Yep. So, where are you going? Boop, up here. Want to do this bottom one first, though? Here. Oh, I thought that one was done. Sorry. I gotta find myself on the stinking. I can't tell. Right where we? Where? I don't know where we are. It's awful. All the way up near the entrance. So take yourself and move yourself over to the mean witch. The mean witch? This yeah. thing? The demon. Just go straight this up. This lady? I, I can't see anything. I, I really don't like this. It's very annoying. Okay. Uh, oh, well, um, you're, you're probably really far in. So keep coming over to your right. Yeah, just, you have to scroll out. I know, I don't like it. Okay. Um, okay, so... So this, Jeff. <laughs> this come thing? as far right come as far right as you can. Uh, this thing? Oh yeah. If you can see it up there, yeah. Right right there. Do you see oh. where I'm where I'm pinging? No, she can't because she's she's so then uh, come back oh. to the lady. Yeah, come back to the leering statue. Hold on. Oh, Jeff, okay. just pick the, her up and put her. A, there. It's there. a demon, not a lady. Yes. There you go. <laughs> yes. On the side, there's a little slide bar that you can zoom in or zoom out. I know, like. I'm, but then I can't see. <laughs> I'm so I'm, I'm I'm like really far in, or I'm like, I'm like zoomed out really far, but then everything is just super tidy. Right. So you can zoom All right. back we in and two, make it bigger. Two different wings to go down. Uh, right. Okay. okay. All right. So let's start here is where Zori was saying. All right. Okay. Tap, tap. Yeah. Ooh, I rolled a 16. You do not believe there are any traps. Okay. Um, I tap, tap again. Ooh. Um, 26. You do not find anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Okay. Move forward. Okay. Is there a dead end? Yeah. It appears to be. Rude. All right. So back this way. Yeah, up here. Mm-hmm. Tap tap. Um, twenty-five. Uh, again, you don't find anything. Okay. Is that the end of the corridor? Um. Hold on. This is what the light of the lantern reveals. You Mm. see a large chamber, dust covering everything. Um, The shapes under the dust, however, seem at this point vaguely familiar. Uh, What looks to be the remnants of tables and chairs, while other rounded lumps are less recognizable and there appear to be low cabinets way far off against the back wall you can just barely see in the dim light and the dust on the floor actually looks a little uneven in spots Uh, I look at the floor is it like the ghost Dribblies through? No. 
There just seem to be spaces where the dust is less piled up than other spaces. Yeah. Hmm. All right, let's All right. go on. Check it out. Tap, tap. Um, 21. All right. You don't find anything unusual. Okay. On the floor, right? Yeah. All right. Well, let's search around. We might as well. All right. Come in and move the light. <coughs> 26 to investigate. Crap, he's getting his books out. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Afgar got an 11. Poor Afgar. Mm -hmm. So, what did everybody else get? 26? Right. I'm what were you? I didn't hear what we were rolling. Investigation. Because you're oh. searching. Investigation. I was just trying to get the light. Oh, okay. Ten. Investigation is worse than perception for me. It's worse than perception for me too. Yeah, but you I only have like a one on billion in it. Fourteen. Yeah, plus six and plus nine. I have plus How six. How come you can see my stuff? I can see Arabelle's, yours, yeah. Afgar's. You can't see like certain thing like notes and stuff, but you can see stats and skills. Weird. Which is helpful. So you, if you really want to, I can tell you how to do it. But later. Yeah. Um. All right. You start searching around, um, Tasha. You actually find something that seems to be fairly intact underneath all the dust. You pick it up and brush it off and look at it. It appears to be uh, a long box made of ivory. Ooh. Wand or a scroll case? Should have waited to identify. <laughs> oh, it well. takes ten minutes. Um, well, that's Interesting. I don't have fine traps, do I? <laughs> you are not a rogue this time. This would be an investigation check if you want to try and see if anything is... All right. Ooh. Um, 24. It's not exactly your area of specialty, but it, from what you can see, it appears to just be an ivory box. You open the box, it's empty. The box! But you estimate the case itself might be worth something. Right? Yeah. Keep it. All right. Do you continue to search? Yes. There are also the cabinets at the back of the room as well. I checked the... Well, I checked seven. the cabinet for traps. Do you got a seven this time? I got a nineteen for the cabinets. I got a two. I find every what? I have a seven. I find everything. Yeah, Afgar <laughs> rolled a one. He found some dust. Wow. Oh, he, but he with his one, he probably still got higher than my seven. <laughs> I, I rolled a dirty 20. Uh, no. With his one, he got a six. Hey! Nine. How's it going? He's just blinded by the beauty of the women he's with. Well, except that, you know, they're not they're not augmented at this point. Ah. Uh. 
<clears throat> but uh, all right, Good all right. Uh, you do not find anything that would suggest to you there is a trap on these. Okay, on, on, on that particular cabinet. All right. Um, I rolled a fourteen to search. All right. Yeah. All right. Arabelle. Yes. You find a stoppered metal vial. Oh. Okay. Athgar is going to try to search one of the chests. There's chests there? Well, I got a 19. Uh, Cabinets? Cabinets. Yeah. Okay, I did get 19. All right. You find uh, something that under the dust that's a little bit pliable. You grab hold of it and pull it up and shake the dust out, and it's a leather apron. Ooh, cool. Say apron? The, yep, the leather is old and cracked in a couple places, but seems to be reasonably decent shape. Not damaged too much. Right. Okay. Athgar looks in his cupboard and, and immediately goes, ew. <laughs> There's... <laughs> I think it used to be food. Oh, yeah. Uh. Oh, but there is. Hold on. He kind of gingerly reaches in and pulls out a, a, a actually rather beautiful blue wine bottle. Ha! Ah. Mm. Mm. There's nothing in it, but... But the bottle is pretty. The bottle's pretty. Maybe we should try to put some of that fancy water in there. Nobody drank the fancy water. No, you drank the fancy water. Tasha. Me? I, think I so. did drink the fancy water. It was sparkly. It was. Well, did Tasha find anything? No. She found spoiled food. Ugh. So which chat or which uh uh, cabinet are you looking at? Me? Uh, so there's one on each square on the back wall, so pick one. How many squares? Four there's squares? Six total. Oh. There's uh, one cabinet for every ten foot square against the back wall. Uh, so just move never... your move your token over in front of whichever one you're doing. Um oh, shit. This one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Then Athgar is going to move up to this one. I'll be here. Okay. Arabelle, you may take one of the other twos if you would like. Well, I figure I won't. I don't want to. No. <laughs> okay. She's going to stand vigil. Because because I roll so crappy, I don't want to miss something. Somebody does have would have to check it anyway. Okay. I only got Aww. Well, I'm gonna move up and do another one then. All right. Do you want me to roll again? Yes. All right. If you want to check for traps, you need to roll for that. Otherwise, you just need to roll investigation to search the cabinet. Um. Twenty-one. I'm not checking for traps. I'm Eighteen go. for traps to try to to check for traps. Okay. You don't find one. Zorth, what'd you get? Nine, uh, 21. 19 plus 2. Um, you find lots of old food, but you also find 
uh, a bronze ring. Mm, nice. Athgar pulls out two rather finely crafted stone plates. Mm. Cool. And Tasha, what did you get for search? Or for investigation? Oh. Uh, 19. You find uh, a, uh, amidst the, the debris in the cabinet, a Dibbers. brass cup. It's a little dented, but it's intact. Ooh. I keep it. Wow. This place is wonderful. I wish we could find out more through these books. Well, maybe when... Oberus gets here. Yeah. Alright, so who's going to do the last cabinet? I will. And there are still spaces on the floor to search, too, that haven't been checked. Oh. I decided, um, what the heck, I'll roll. I'll roll the natural 20. 21! <laughs> Okay. Woohoo! Look at you! I'm like sitting there poking. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Tasha, you want to do the last one? Yeah, I rolled a 19. Mm. You find a stoppered bronze vial. Bronze vial. I, I open the vial. Um, Arabelle? Yeah. You find a cap, like a hat, that seems to still be structurally sound. Weird. That's weird. All right. And Athgar pulls out uh, of the cabinet he's looking at a dirty but serviceable silver what looks like a dinner knife. Mm. Like a butter knife? Yeah. Wow. Weird. Such history. I wish I could get more from When we rest, I'll cast Detect Magic. Okay. It won't be till after we rest. That seems to be everything. All the stuff. Well, now what time is it? Uh, probably dinner time. We've got a big magma fire, right? Can yeah, we could just go back to the. I mean, honestly, we could just go back to the sunshine and yeah, just hang out there. Yeah. How how do we think it's going to be another day before? Uh, can... They should be showing up sometime in the morning. You you hope. Okay. All right. Yeah. We can rest and then come back to the entrance to wait for them. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. All right. Your so you, back. you don't need to move the icons all the way back down. 
Okay. Uh, we'll just say, you know, you go back down to that room, bathe in the warm glow of positive memories. Mm-hmm. Have some dinner and pass out. Mm-hmm. Do you set up a watch? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll go first. Okay. Okay. Also give everyone a chance to attune to any items they might need to. Correct. All right, uh, go ahead and roll perception for me, if you would. Uh, perception... 27. You don't see or hear anything out of the ordinary, anything other than the, the, the sounds of your companions sleeping and the vague hum in the air of all of this energy constantly being emitted. Mm. So interesting. <laughs> All right. So who do you wake up for second watch? Um, Zori. Okay. All right. Then Zorith. I will need you to make a perception check, please. It was really good, and then it rolled into not as good. <laughs> 14. 14. You two spend your time on watch uh, listening to your comrades sleeping and the hum of all the energy. Of the energy. I'm just going to wander by the other three colors. Okay. Just walk by them. All right. There's no heat. Right. Hmm. And then I'll walk back. I'm just going to think about them all night and try to figure out in my head what kind of things we can do. Like, put an item in there, take it out, you know. I do have some fruit and stuff. Yes. Alright. Who do you wake for third watch? Mm, probably Athgar, because... Well, yeah, because he doesn't really... Oh, no, he threw some spells. Well, he threw a spell. Oh. But, I mean, everybody's going to everybody's gonna rest spell. long enough to get a long rest, so... Okay, then Athgar. Okay. Okay. Um, you go back to sleep, uh... Arabelle, you get awakened by Athgar. And he says, everything's quiet. Did Zori, did you do two or four? Uh, I would have done four, probably. So we're done then, right? Mm -hmm. um, two, four, two is eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So we would so all I wake up and pray. We would all be done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I do my prayers at the end anyway, so. Okay. Long rest. We have completed a long rest. Yes. All right. Oh, yay. Then I will, if we, everybody puts our stuff we found in that room, I will cast Detect Magic. All right. See if any. Um, the two vials glow and the cap glows. Ooh. Two but vials. Nothing else does. 
and the cat. Okay. Ask Athgar if he would be willing to identify them. Sure. All right. Minutes. So he takes a half an hour and identifies all three of them. The steel vial is a potion of water breathing. Okay. The, what did I say, brass or bronze? Bronze. Bronze vial is a potion of fire breath. Fire breath. Mm -hmm. And the cap is a cap of water breathing. Weird. There's water in those... Statues, I could not think. In the pools around the statues, yes. But you okay. also know that it's only about eight inches deep. Is it? <laughs> well, the places you checked were only about eight inches deep. Let's put it that way. Interesting. Do we still look sparkly to each other? No. Or did that wear off? That appears to be gone. Uh. What did we do right before that? I think it was from the th uh, thing we blew, the s statue we fought. Is what Tasha had remembered. Mm. Okay. That it was the same energy, but you've got your oranges. So. Hmm. Dang, I can't stop yawning. I'm not tired. I just can't stop yawning. All right. So we wait. We come back up to the entrance and wait for. All right. As you. Make your way back up toward the entrance. So, uh, Zorith, go ahead and put yourself in the midst of everybody else in this hallway here. Did everybody just vanish? I moved what? everybody. Uh, oh. What the heck? To go, the hallway, go that's. Go down oh. and to the right. There it is. Okay. Okay. As you get up to this point on your way back, I need everybody to roll perception. Okay. 26. Mm. Athgar doesn't hear anything. 17. 18. All right. <clears throat> Tasha, you, you're walking back up here. You've seen nothing remarkable since, you know, really the last creature you encountered was in that forest. Now you haven't seen anything else. But you get to this point and you hear voices. Raised voices arguing. I pass it on. I pass on the shush finger. <laughs> and then listen carefully. All right. Roll perception yeah. again. This time with advantage, since you know what you're listing for. Oh. Well, Tasha, <laughs> Tasha, you don't need to roll again. Oh. Okay. 24. Bloody hell. Perception? Yeah. 22. This time, much better. 29. Athgar went happen? from rolling a 4 to rolling a 20. Okay, then. We listen. And Zorith, you recognize one of the voices immediately. I think it was Obris. <laughs> yep. 
Ubers. What's he saying? What are they saying? Can we tell? I am certain that that's an A. No, that's not an A. It's a V. Mm. That's not a V. You're looking at it the wrong way. It's got to be an A. <laughs> I well, I'm sorry. But I'm sorry, but if you apply that sort of logic to the rest of it, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So we'll just keep walking. <laughs> All right. Where's the now? <laughs> you... Do we know what they might be arguing about? Was there something in the books? You make oh, your way back to the library. They're trying to translate the books. <laughs> and you find Obris and Indrus side by side with a globe of light hanging over their heads. All eight books open on the table. Parchment out, ink, quills. They're taking notes. They're furiously trying to figure out the cipher. Well, that's the way to do it. Listen, eight <laughs> books. You'd be able to do it. The... Right. Yeah. You'd be able I, to figure uh, it out. I pull out two oranges <laughs> and hand one to each of them. Um, You know from the identification, it won't help Indra's at all. But it will help Oberus. Yes. It oh, helps it, oh, I, sorcerers. It, Oh, I thought it was just in general wild nope. magic. Nope. But he looks up and goes, Oh, oh, there you are. <laughs> Fascinating so place you found. I found both. I <laughs> had both of the oranges to... Obris. Y yes, Obris. yes. Actually, I'll hand him all four. We've had our breakfast. No, no. Uh, These are... Master oh. Obris? Yes, what, what? Oh, hello. These are uh, magical. Are they? Oh. And how peculiar. They will protect you from wild magic surges for 24 hours. But they only last for a week. So while you're in the forest, the wood, they should help you. Uh, or down here. Are you certain? Yes. And Athgar says... I, I identified them myself, sir. <laughs> I see. How remarkable! He immediately eats it and then thinks for a moment and casts a spell and immediately lifts off the ground and you can tell he's just cast fly and the look on his face is just euphoric. <laughs> he says, there was no instability at all. Nothing. It didn't even flutter. We this have is so sensational. Much to talk about. There's so much to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, well, uh, Andrews, we'll get back to this later. We should hear what these young people have to say. <laughs> and using Tasha's keen mind, we tell them everything. <clears throat> Yes. Okay. And Andrews immediately. And then there was this part. Andrews immediately says, "I must. In, I must see this this room of conflicting energies. It's amazing. Uh, can one of you lead me there? Yes. Let's go. Okay. So you take Andrews down there while I take Mister Prickly. Yep. And he. Uh, he actually compliments you on the way about how how uh, well you've done uh, clearing this place of threats and discovering what you did that your work will make his work much easier. Oh, well, you're, you're welcome. <clears throat> and so he gets there and immediately starts going, ooh, hmm. Pulls a pulls a book out and an, any any and uh, a a little vial of ink and a quill balances the ink on the book and starts taking notes and he's lost to the world. While he's gone, 
I I uh I play guard. Okay. Basically, okay. I keep I keep my wits about me and keep looking for any threats. Okay. While they're gone, <laughs> it's a trap. Um, while they're gone, I talk to Obris. And, you know, we've just told him about all these things, these wonderful things. And I, I have to ask you, some of the things that we found here are very amazing. And I know that Indrus was the catalyst or so excited about this. How well do you trust him? Oh, he's an archivist. Uh, one of the few outside of our particular approach to magic that I trust. You do trust him? No, yes, we've been friends for years. Where? He's fussy, but mm -hmm. you get used to it. He's also insanely <laughs> smart. Well, if if what we found is a clue to wild magic, what besides research are you planning to do with it? I have no idea. Right now, it's just cataloging. Eventually, I probably will want to bring in a group to clean and uh, and uh, inventory. Mm. These books, however, are coming back with me. Mm. Okay. This is a remarkable archaeological find. It is. It's really excellent. I just I've been burned and I don't I don't trust anybody anymore. Oh, I'm standing. I'm sorry. What? We're standing? What? No, I said understanding what makes the Everwood this way is one thing. Trying to dispel that would be a loss. Oh, I agree. There are far too many uh, unique species of both flora and fauna that have developed on the surface, in the wood. Uh, to do anything to endanger that would be unconscionable. Can I give him a hug? <laughs> oh, Zorif. Never you fear. There are still people that you can trust. Now I don't trust him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> There's also... You know, they, the, whoever did the grove in Thunder's Edge was using it for nefarious purposes. Yes, creating the the mythology of the haunted warehouse. Right. I would... In times of war, people get desperate and might not be a good idea for a Catholic to attempt the same. Agreed. Oh, this will stay in the strictest confidence. This will be known to only a select few in the tower, those I trust, those who Indrus trusts, those that we can count on to maintain the secrecy. When we have completed cataloging this site and completed our research and hopefully deciphered these tomes, I can't wait to get back and begin deciphering these tomes. Can you imagine the information? <laughs> that could be contained in these. It is rather intriguing, isn't it? It's absolutely breathtaking. I just laugh and I say, could be smut. 
ancient smut. <laughs> well, I suppose there's a market for everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I have a little bit higher hopes. Probably. I am most hoping for histories. Well, this place is amazing. <gasps> oh. And I retell him about the cold chamber because that to me is just so amazing. Are you telling me that they managed to permanently affix a connection to a para-elemental plane? I don't know if that's exactly what it is, but I assume so. It might be what the fire is, too. Oh, yeah, we tell him about the fire. Oh, and the cold. The freezer. That's what she yeah, was yeah, talking about. Was... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Wait a minute. There's, there's one for fire, too? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, we don't know goodness. exactly what that one is. Well, <laughs> so much to investigate. Yeah, you can well, spend you've... many days down here. <laughs> Weeks, perhaps months. <laughs> oh. Well, you I'm are... going to, I'm going to have to get permission to continue <laughs> to stay here after my week is up. But um, I'm fairly certain that, given the historical nature of this find, I can claim this as my site. And therefore, I will be in charge of all of the activity that goes on here. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, we, <clears throat> while we checked most areas, um, we didn't check every area for secret doors and passages and stuff. We tried as much as we could, but there's some dead ends that might be magical doors or whatever I don't exactly know but they could just be dead ends um. and I don't necessarily know if he can like check but I'm saying like if he gets someone else that has that uh, proclivity. <laughs> right. I mean, I detected magic on the one hallway, right? That's yeah. when I found out we were glowing. Right. Uh, Tasha. Mm. You see uh, Andrews. <clears throat> he has managed, he's asked you a couple questions so he knows not to walk through the dark part and to go, and it's okay to walk through the the, the golden part and he is now inspecting the flames on the other wall and you see him standing in front of the green flame and and scribbling and he goes to lean in a little closer and stumbles and falls into the flame and vanishes oh, I knew it I was going to put an acorn in it I should have I should have I should have <clears throat> um Arabel and Zora and Athgar roll perception. Oh, we're far away. And it just popped in this room. Oh, that's sweet as heck. Uh, 22, actually. 26, natural 20. Athgar doesn't hear shit. Roll to one. <clears throat> you hear. Ah! Coming from out of the room somewhere. I run out to investigate. <clears throat> you run toward where you think that sound came from. The two of you rolled high enough that you can pretty much figure it out. You find yourself heading for that, that dead end. And just as you hit the bend that you know goes straight and then turns again, you hit this corner, you see Indrews walking around the other corner, ink all over his robes, fussing, casting prestidigitation to try and get this it out. This one here? Um, 
Yes. Oh, at the top. Okay. Yep. And All right, so he, that one was the green. You see him, and he kind of stops and looks at you and goes, Where am I? <laughs> oh, phew. And I tell him where Well, we are. you don't know. Tasha, you saw him fall in the fire and vanish. That's oh all my. you know. And I said another going, oh, no, I'm in so much trouble. I killed a mage. <laughs> Curse my metal Bobby R2. I wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Hilarious. Why can I not select myself? Uh. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know either. Mm. Where did you want to be? I was just gonna be over, over here. So, did he tell us what happened? Oh, that's because I'm trying to move Arabelle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand why I'm not. I'm pinging over here. No, nope, that's not me. This is me. How did, how did you get here? I, I was looking at those, those flames on the walls, and I tripped and spilled ink all over myself but I found myself back there no. so where am I <laughs> we're, in the well, front. we're gonna head right up here and this is the entrance and then so we'll head back so oh. it's interesting because three dead ends we found and there's three fires so they must go to those different spots uh, and as we're walking back, I stop in the thing and I tell Obris. That's interesting, though. Ooh. In an in-house teleportation system. Ha 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 ha! I have so much to learn here. If only I can figure out how they did it. There's so many things. There's fresh water. Yes, yes, who you mentioned. There's the amazing indoor forest yes I believe I may actually request some assistance from Greenboro for that remind me Jeff yes. please if you would be so kind as to remind me about the scroll on the The other altar. Oh, right. The the first altar that you found. Yeah. Remind me about that, would you? Um, I'm sure we told him, obviously. We it, told him with the, for and, the keen mind. And, I just don't And Athgar had cast Comprehend Languages and was able to read it. Oh, so with the... So he wrote it down. Thin. Yes. Over time and after time, through field mm -hmm. and forest, his will be felt and fells. All who walk the plains, on your heads be it. Those who doubt his power, honor him with deeds unknown, or find his impact around all doors. Kin and kith alike will never escape. Yes. Obviously we told him that. And then also the fighting statue. <clears throat> um, said, know his name, and you shall pass. And I yes. asked Obris... Uh, cl clearly, this is a temple, or was, to a deity who apparently no longer exists, hmm. but one who was part of the life of the Cathan before the Shattering. Hmm. Does Indrus go back and try the other ones? Yes. So, and Tasha, you're sitting there trying to figure out what to do. You see Indrus walk back in, and he just looks at you and says, It's simply astonishing. Walks through the gold and into the blue fire and vanishes. <laughs> oh, for the love. <laughs> Evidently, <clears throat> it's a teleporter to one of the dead ends. Well, she's still down there by herself. Oh, I thought we walked him back down. Oh, he didn't need you to. He knows how to get there. You've shown him once. He knows how to get there. Well, I followed him anyway. Okay. He, too, has Great. keen mind. Oh, very wise. Okay, so 
Arabelle comes walking in right behind Andrews. Andrews keeps killing himself. Can you explain that to me? <laughs> so, the, the dead end that we found towards the entrance, mm. he went through the green fire and he ended up teleporting there. So really? we found three dead ends, so we think these must each go to one of those spots. Hmm. Now, he just teleported to a place he hasn't been, so we'll see if he can find his way back. <laughs> well, that'll be entertaining. <laughs> it's actually not that far, though, right? So... Well, we don't know. Well, yeah. one of them is going to be... But why would it go to right there if it's so close to this? Who knows? Yeah, I know. I I don't know the whys and the wherefores of any of this. Right, it might go somewhere else, and that was just they hadn't finished building. Potentially. All right. So we're have to see where he goes. Andrews comes back within a minute and says, "Hmm." Not exactly sure what the point of that is. Walks through <laughs> the gold, it... walks into the orange, and vanishes. So this one must have been this one, right? The blue. Hold on. I'm not looking at roll 20. I can't see what you're pinging. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's the one that I was like, this why would that be there? But... You were right. You were right, Arabelle. And then is this orange? Or up here? This is orange. Oops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wondered. This one? Yeah. No, who's orange? You are. Over here? What's yeah. over there? The place that you figured out was the dormitory. Oh, the barracks. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, so they basically can just walk in to their going out exploring room with the gold light and then either gold light heal themselves and go back to bed or gold light heal themselves and go out to fight or oh, yeah. gold right, light. There's not a way back. Away. There's not a way back, though. No. No, they, but like if they were to, yeah, like if they all walked to that place got their energy <clears throat> and then <clears throat> transported to the places to bed right. like because they just healed themselves or out the door to get the oh right to get up top a buff that one's right up front where you could just like walk out easier i don't know that's my guess right, the personal blue guess. One really, or, yeah the blue one really doesn't make much sense maybe they didn't finish it Right, but even if they had, it's so fast, you'd think. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the what they were looking for must be here, right? We didn't tech. We don't know what, still what caused the. No. Ever would. No. No. What whatever's going on in the in the yellow and black is we I'll walk over us down there, we'll say, since we know where he's at, it's time that you see the the All magical right. room. Take him down there. Maybe it's the grove down here that's causing the grove up there. Andrews is currently just outside the center point and is watching the energies meet and diffuse and curl. Mm -hmm. into the ceiling. It's interesting. And Obris walks in and goes, Oh, my goodness. 
And you say the golden energy evokes positive thoughts and feelings. And you, young man, say the grayish energy evokes pain and negative memories. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Hmm. Well, Andrews, what do you think about this where these fields meet? I'm not sure yet. But it's clear that whatever they're doing is rising out of this complex. Hmm. Well... Uh, tell me. <clears throat> have you... Have you tried both sides yet? No, I've only done the gold. Oh! oh very well. And Obris just walks into the gray Whoa! energy. I grab Adam. <clears throat> and do I get a, do I get a grabby it's a uh, roll? Roll to hit. Natural nineteen. Mother have mercy. Yeah. You manage to grab his arm. Unfortunately, he's much bigger he's than you than are. You. <laughs> and you're able to hold on to him, but not before most of him enters the gray energy. And you, because you have a hold of his arm, you feel him go, oh. And then he immediately kind of, you know, comes walks back out. slowly out. <sighs> Are Young. you okay? Uh, I will be. That was unpleasant. Young man, take him. you undersold I take... it. <laughs> I take him and I push him in the light. <coughs> I undersold it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How dare you? And once he gets in the light, he just kind of goes, Oh. Oh, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just wow. And eventually he kind of wanders back out and and looks at you, Zorth, and says... <laughs> And you, dear girl, undersold that. We could sell yes. tickets. <laughs> oh, if you if you didn't have the orange and you went into the yellow light, wow, magic also is not affected. You can grasp it and shape it so much better. Here. You see, Andrews go. Really? <laughs> he walks back into the light and casts a spell. And you see his eyes get wide. And he's like... Was it... Is that because he was in the forest and it was being wild for him there? And so he wants to... I thought it was the statue, though, not the glowy... Standing in the golden light, he appears to be, have been able to cast a spell with no oh, ill effect. Okay. Gotcha. Because that's where I did it first. I did the spell in the glow. Right, but it was mm -hmm. after we bought the thing, so. Oh, yeah. Yep. You were, you figure out after talking with them and them doing some experimentation that apparently you were suffering from two protective magics at the same time when you were casting within the golden energy. Oh, okay. So the other worked outside of the energy, and the energy just works in there? Yes. Oh, I'm completely confused. What are we talking about? So, so when we blew... Oh, yeah, when the statue blew up, yes. you were coated with... Well, okay, a little backstory here. You wouldn't know this, but just so you know. You were, you were hit with what the statue... What the makers of the statue believed to be a curse. <clears throat> you were covered in a shield that blocked the effects of chaos from reaching you. Oh. But it's dissipated now. But it's dissipated. It was a limited... It was, it was until... Basically until you took a long rest. You were affected by that curse. This is simply such pure positive energy 
that it's blocking the effect of the Everwood. Right. Wow. That's crazy. All right, so this is good. The but it only it only works in when you are standing right. within that field of golden energy. Right. Mm -hmm. The chaos, chaos. That middle section that's leaching out is that what's causing the Everwood? Because you said it was going up and out. Yeah. Maybe. Don't know. Maybe. Um. Obris tells we... you. Obris tells you that that part of what they're going to have to do is. Down Go, uh, to down to the 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 raw essence. Figure out what these two energies are. The other thing would, that would be interesting would be to someone with a keen mind go out and trace the approximate location in the forest of where this is coming out of. So, you know, go down, go around, go down, go around. Oh, this is a Obris, worth it. Obris nods and, and suggests that that's a very, very good idea, and they will definitely be doing that. So I guess the question is, you know, we came to help find, right, to accompany them on what's doing. Are we staying here for the weeks that they're investigating this, or do they have what they need? Um, Obris tells you that you're welcome to stay. Um, but the rest of the work that's going to be done ends up getting a little tedious. They're going to be working on cleaning all of the dust out. They're going to begin cataloging everything that still remains intact. Uh, identifying all the magics. Um, it's going to be a little while. Obris is going to uh, ask a, a, a ranger that he knows to come in to help him inspect that that forest. Um, or a druid. <laughs> yeah. Well, or a druid, he doesn't yeah. happen to know a druid. He happens to know a ranger. Alrighty then. So. Um, so we're. He says, done? you know, you're welcome to stay, but I would assume that based on where I found you that you have other things on your agenda. Um, he says, I, mean, yeah. I would be I would be happy to uh, return you to Thunder's Edge. That's what I was just going to ask. We have a teleportation circle, Well, right? it's being constructed. No, it's, what was it, like four months? Three months. Three months. Oh, that's right. It's not going to be done for a while, but he he knows how to do that teleporty thing yeah. with scrolls, right? If they have any scrolls left. And since you don't have to worry about wild magic. Right. Yeah, he can teleport you back, no problem. Is that what we want? We might as Is well. There anything else we want to see here? I don't think we're going to stay for months while they... Mm -mm, no, we're not. Um, just keep me updated. Oh, of course. Oh, we we show them how to do the um gold for goodies gold thing for the oranges. Oh, <laughs> gold for goodies. Right. So that at least Oberus's magic will be able to do things. Yeah, uh, you can I, use we, magic here. Tell them about the mirrors. I forget about the mirrors. Okay. We tell them all the things. Oh, we want to show them that fire thing. See if they know what it is. Yeah. The magma. Oh, okay. You mean the clouds of fire. Yes. <clears throat> um, clouds of see, fire. See, that sounds like a bad 80s movie. He, uh... <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a, a album title. It does. Death. Uh, clouds of fire. Striper. <laughs> he uh, he uh, he looks at it and uh, casts a couple spells, and he 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 almost giggles every time he's casting a spell now. 
<laughs> I know, it's great, isn't it? He's never going to leave. He's building a new tower here for Sorcerer. Oh <laughs> this, this must be what Indrus goes through every time he casts. I've been, I've been jealous of him for that. Eh. But now I can do it myself, at least here for, for a while. while. Yes. But it will definitely make researching those books so much easier. I imagine so. Um, and he uh, walks over and grabs the chain and pulls it up and notices that there's a hook on the wall. So he just hooks the chain and it stays open. Oh boy, we were not smart. We did not check very well. And he walks over and looks and casts a few spells and then kind of goes, oh dear, and unhooks the chain and closes it again. <laughs> oh dear. That's a portal to the elemental plane of fire. <laughs> That's what I and it does appear to be open on both sides, which would explain <gasps> the grate. Oh my gosh. But well, why? Why would you do that? I. Uh, it could be useful. What? When? Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> if you need to forge something, uh, if you need to oh. cook something, if you need to, <laughs> I guess, dispose of something, or someone. The incinerator. Yes, essentially. Okay, I... From what you've think... told me, the people who built this complex were not particularly worried about anything that might come through from the other side of these, especially if that room you told me about does end up having such a connection to the Pera Elemental Plane of Ice. It's my favorite room. I can see why it would be exceptionally useful. And um, would also explain why the fruit that we've seen is simply shriveled rather than molded away to nothingness. I have a question hmm. for Jeff. Oh, okay. I was about to answer his over, so okay. I know you were. <laughs> Did we get the quarter staff, the withered branch, blackened piece of wood identified? Oh, and no, we never no. identified that one. No. And the silver chain necklace pendant thing? The silver oh. chain necklace pendant thing is just jewelry. Oh, okay. But uh, it's pretty. When Athgar finds a spare moment, he sits down and uh, ritually casts identify. It's a staff of withering. Oh yeah, we didn't know that at all. Wasn't there something, was there anything else that was too old for us to, besides the books? Um, I don't know, is there anything else, treasure bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Said with all the affection in the world. <laughs> all right. Um, oh yeah, I tell him, if he drops books on the floor, the Unseen Servants might get him. So, nowhere else in this area, nowhere else have we encountered Unseen Servants except in the library, correct? Right. But, you imagine uh, that that's how the bowls of fruit are showing up. Yeah. And so, wherever you found those bowls of desiccated fruit they are probably being tended to by unseen servants as well. Okay, just slower. They're not getting there. Or it may be that there's just one, and it has one. to take care of the entire complex. Oh, my God. God. Could you imagine? And oh, my back. God. Here's a bowl of fruit. Get back to it like a week later. Here's a bowl of fruit. All right. Uh. Um, I think... Oh, there's an inscription, unique antique for the mirror. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And you told him about the mirrors. I did. Oh. Um, 
Okay. Yeah, I think we got everything. I think we got everything taken care of. All right. Well, yeah. when you're ready, um, he suggests leaving the complex before you, before he teleports you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I'm assuming they broke camp when they came back to the and met. Came to the camp because I don't think um, they left anything. They at camp. are. Uh, no, you didn't leave anything at camp. Uh, they did not. They went through camp and came directly here. However, their valets are about half a day behind them, having stopped to break camp. So and they're they're, they're going to break it all down them. and then meet them. Yes. Here. Yes. Okay. Obris has Obris has sent his valet a message with directions. So. Super cool. Be careful, because the forest is still foresty, and there are still dangerous things. Of course. Well, uh, we we befriended because of Athgar. We befriended some trees and bushes, and they helped keep us safe all the way here. Fascinating. He polymorphed into a bush, tree, bush thing. Ooh, what a remarkable idea. I may have to try that myself, young man. And then had a conversation, and I'll let Athgar explain all that to them. Mm -hmm. uh... And Obris says, So, there are two complex root systems throughout the entire Everwood. It seems like that should be important, but I haven't uh, quite processed why. Hmm. Oh well, it'll come to me. But <laughs> good find, young Athgark. Very good find. We'll make a researcher out of you yet. Yeah. yeah. Now, does Athgar want to stay? We didn't even ask him. Um. We didn't tell. Well. Okay, so what I will do is I will tell, I will tell Obris that history absolutely fascinates Athgar and, like, away from Athgar. And if he can come back and visit, or if he gets permission from his, if he gets permission from his dad, can come stay for a while. So I'm going to tell Obris that, and then. Obris can ask Athgar if he wants to stay or whatnot. Whatever. But I feel like Obris should know because Athgar would like Yeah. Stay eternally and happy. Athgar says uh, Thank you for thinking of me. I, I I would like to come back but I should report this to my father and to uh, Oh What's his name? Jeff is blanking on the name. Yeah, but 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 Asgar knows. Yes. Asgar knows, but his, is this his father's that... his father's advisor. Yes. Is this something that we want everyone to know, though? Like. Oh. Uh, 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 young only... Af Young Asgar, if you could simply uh, tell your father that uh, a location of archaeological interest you were helpful in discovering and the leader of the archaeological team would like you to come and assist them. And feel free to have uh, anyone contact me I will be happy to speak with them. But we don't necessarily need to tell them what's here, just archaeologically. Oh, uh, oh yes, I, I, I understand. Just archaeologically, it's a cool place, gives some history. Yes. No need yes. to say how magical it is. And I'm looking at Athgar when I say that. 
I understand. Okay. All right. Then are we ready? We are we we take the green fire. Okay. I and do for sure. I take the green fire and get plunk, up to the one top. One by one, okay. you get teleported back to that dead end hallway up near the entrance. Mm-hmm. And Oprah says, much better than walking all the way back. Mm-hmm. Mm. You'll have to walk back to get back down there, but... Well, of course, of course. But... One-way trips any, are easier than none. Any step saved is good. Mm. Yes. All right. So... You make your way outside. Everyone joins hands. Uh, two of you hold on to Obris's shoulders. Yep. And he casts teleport. And you appear in the street in front of the Ivory's Wrath. Causing a lot of people to go. Oh! Huzzah! <laughs> I give him a hug. Zorith, you have done me proud. Thanks. I shall see that any official research that is written on this contains all four of your names as the l primary initial investigators. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you. Well, you did the work. You deserve the record. Thank you. And Athgar says, my name is going to be in the book on this? Well, of course, boy. See, you might want to go st spend some time with them. I think so. And well, if you'll excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go <laughs> speak to my father immediately. Uh, wait before you leave. <laughs> he has some. Um, yeah. Before you leave, uh, you can find someone to send a message to Obris. And he can probably pick you up so you don't have to wander back. And he looks at Obris and Obris says, I'd be happy to, now that I know I'm not going to be accidentally plane shifting. <laughs> right. So, send a message and do some digging. I, I will. Uh, if, if, if my father allows me to go back, I will definitely come and see you before I leave. Well, of course. Well, we'll be happy to see you. Thank you for this. I it hug him. Wouldn't have been possible without all of you. Well, you know, you had to try your wings at some point. Yes. <laughs> and now Zorith is wearing them. <laughs> Pam, you're muted. There she just go. remembered. Sorry about that. Okay. I, I ask our um, thank you once again for your help. It was my honor. And he, he bows and... You talk to your dad and wink. <gasps> oh, oh, what a good <laughs> idea. I, I, I will definitely do that. Thank you. And he turns <laughs> and, and runs. <laughs> Take an acorn before he talks to his dad? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So sassy. <laughs> he runs off through the gate to the inner enclave and you lose sight of him. <gasps> oh! Zorth. We totally eat one before we talk to Wiggy and see if we freak him out. Just kidding. <laughs> and Obra says, All right, I'm going to be getting back. Uh, good job, all of you. And Zorith, I shall definitely let you know what we discover. 
Thank you. And he pulls out another scroll and reads it and disappears. At, at which point you hear, Holy crap, where the hell have you guys been? And you see Wiggy running out of the Ivory's Wrath. I've been looking for you for days. We were in the Everwood. Yeah, I could have sworn we told you. Yeah, but I thought you'd be back by now. I got a Is message. I got a message waiting for you from Viesa, and uh, 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 Alorik says that uh, he's got a message for Tasha. Come all the way from Erma. For me? Yeah. Huh? Well, I guess we should go see what that's about. Is Aramin back? Nope. I haven't seen him yet. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Zori's fine, and I squeeze Zori's shoulder as we walk in. Uh, he was as of last night, yeah. Uh, so you saw him? No, no, I heard from Viesa, and she said he was doing great. Oh, good. Oh, well. okay. So, uh, good. you know, I don't know what he's doing. She's got him doing something. Excellent. Well, uh... But, uh, yeah, I, you know, come on in. That's from Viesa? Have you had dinner? No. All right. Well, let's go get some food, and I'll tell you what's going on, and uh, you can get your message from uh, Alaric. Sounds good. And that's where we'll stop. <laughs> okay. Are we a little late? <laughs> I'm having... Oh, well. No, it's it's our normal time. Yeah. It well, is our normal it's, time. It's scant minutes past 11 o'clock. So. Scant. Uh, that was a big adventure. I am very excited, and I should have brought more bananas, because I'm having <laughs> thought. Oh, no. <clears throat> oh, no, you wouldn't. She would. I, she I hand would. you my bananas. I don't. You, I, I probably wouldn't. I probably, I don't know if I would say it, but yes. Nikki is having he, he, he thoughts. Yes, she has blue bananas. <laughs> yes. I can tell what you're thinking. Oh, yes. No. And she can have all, all of your thoughts. Oh, and everybody what? make sure you take your charisma back to normal. I said, and she can sense all I of your thoughts. It, so. yeah. If you changed it on your character sheet, you got to put it back. Yeah. I did not. Because I figured that was just for fun anyway. Yep. Okay. Changed it back. Yep. I Same here. I wish there was a temporary. It's like an 80s song. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. That was a good trip. Yeah. It was. It was literally great. great dungeon crawl for 5th edition. Yep. That worked out Just... pretty well. I'm I'm much more confident in my ability to, to figure those out for 5th now. Not to kill us. Yes. Just the right amount of Yes. Well, peril. Uh, there could have been a little more peril. You guys handled what been. there was pretty well. Um, oh, yeah. Huh. One thing that I forgot. Are we level eight? No. <laughs> no, nothing Nothing so good. Um, <gasps> what? Is that the monster manual? Something flies down in the street. Tags. No, right my neck. no, no, nothing so pedestrian. Uh, there's not much at the next um, level. <laughs> I need two levels. You're hilarious. Ooh. Arabelle. Yes. When you woke up this morning, you felt weaker. Your maximum hit points have dropped by 10. Whoa, whoa. Uh oh. Um. And you, we, you, those... you all. Once she mentions this, you all notice that she looks a little. Deacon. A little hollow cheeked. Mm. Like, she's become slightly desiccated. Um. I'll probably need greater restoration. 
Um, you don't know. Probably. And where did that happen? When I failed that saving throw. From the zombies. I mean, the mummies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. All right. Well, I gotta check Peaches one and thing. cream. Well, there is a temple that knows how to turn you not blue, so yeah. I'm sure it will. Yeah, I would make my way then before dinner straight to the temple. Okay. Or the next morning do lesser restoration. So. All right. Well, remember that. We will deal with that first thing next time. Made it out. All right. Well, nice job, everybody. Thanks for the refrigerated room. It made my day. <laughs> she had yeah. a what? Well, She's shrubs sure. too, but of the dungeon, that's my favorite part of the dungeon. Yeah, really Golden light the... is cool, but a freaking yeah. refrigerator. I, I really liked the the light and the dark and the. And the chaos in between, or whatever. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. Good job. Just, uh... Yeah, you did okay. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. We'll be back next Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, for another adventure. We'll find out what this latest message from Viesa is and what message Aloric is holding for Tasha all the way from Erma. <laughs> I bet it's what my What message frog. he's holding in his head. Hmm? Oh, well, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> which, what message is he holding in his head? She's so naughty. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm-hmm. Naughty. All right. So have a wonderful week. Remember, stay safe. Stay sane. For, wear your mask. Any, for anybody's sake. Everybody's sake. Wear your mask. And uh, we'll see you next on Inauguration Eve. Okay. So have a wonderful week, and uh, we'll see you next time as we welcome you back to the lands of Akathan. Good night, everybody. <laughs>